to the AM stream and welcome to the Zypho show this Friday evening and how are we all doing? Good evening, yes, it, was a, it wasn't a flop, it was a, a leapt into the chair like a graceful panther. Yeah. Anyway, how are we all doing? I have a new t-shirt, I don't know if Flibble San is here to, uh, at the moment, but uh, check out. <laughs> I know it's flipped to the camera. Alan, the Lord Sugar right in there. <laughs> um, Simon Osborne, aka Flibble San, uh, bought me that for my birthday, but it took uh, months to arrive, <laughs> the poor thing. Uh, so I finally, finally brought it round like the other day. <laughs> what a t-shirt, eh? What a t-shirt. Um, how are we all doing anyway? So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are we just doing one of our old school request nights. There's no theme. There are no restrictions. Like, we're not tied to do a specific challenge or set of games from a company or whatever. I just felt like um, I wanted to do a chilled one tonight and, uh, and have it nice and relaxed and spend a bit more time chatting and interacting with you guys. Uh, also, I've been working on like a really big sort of special AM stream, which is going to be tonight. But... I need more time on it. I've been working solidly all week on it, and I'm like, it's not quite ready. Let's not rush it. So that's going to be pushed back to next week. We left, which to be honest, didn't leave me much time to sort out like a special thing for tonight or whatever. But so what we're going to do, we're just going to do a, a good old request night and see where the night takes us. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so yeah, when uh, uh, I will ask for requests um, in a bit when we've just done the greetings. I'll ask at various points during the night. What? Oh! Oh! David! Hang on, what's happened there? Is it our... David Jenner fighting on Patreon? Oh! Because I was a little confused there because I thought you were already a Patreon. You are, of course, David, but David has just increased his pledge on Patreon. That's fantastic. Wow, thank you, man. Let's give you a load of dancing sugars for that and some fireworks. Thank you, David. That's... Wow. That's blown me away. Thank you, man. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. Yeah, I think that deserves some bananas in the chat as well. But, David, thank you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. What a lovely way to start the stream tonight. Thank you, man. Let's just turn them off for now. Wow. Wow. Thank you, man. That's very, very kind of you, dude. Holy crap, that's cheered me up no end. <laughs> Uh, oh no, not that I was in a bad mood or anything like that, uh, it's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was a little disappointed I couldn't do my big stream tonight, I wanted to do. But um, hopefully next week we will, we will do that. But David, cheers man, thank you very, very much. So, as I was saying, um, I'll, I'll take back, uh, I'll ask for requests at various points during the night. I, I think what I'm going to do tonight is sort of just choosing one from that um, list of, of requests that are coming in the chat. I will pick out three games each time I take requests and I'll look for the most interesting ones and that's generally ones that perhaps I've never played before or never had on the Amstream before or it's years since I checked it out or it's a little bit unusual or um, 
I don't know. Feel free to request Robocop in Renegade if you want to. Uh, but the chances are that I may pick a different one. Um, but if there's a new person in the stream tonight, and it's like the first time on the AM stream, they've never been here before, and they're just discovering it for the first time, and they go, would you play Robocop for me? I will. You know, because it's a new person. And also, I'll try and favour requests from people that perhaps have not been on the stream just much recently, um, or uh, haven't had a request done for them for a long time, or something like that. I'll try and do it, balance it like that. But try not to have, like, um, uh, too much stress. <laughs> yeah, pick a bloody isometric, bloody hell. <laughs> I'll ever play much uh, Chase HQ. I haven't, not, in, not enough of it, not enough. Anyway, hold off on the uh, uh, request just just for now, because we're going to do the greetings, otherwise I'll never get through all the chat. Because, <laughs> blimey, we've got over 40 in already, that's really, really good. So, let's start off, let's see who we've got first in the chat tonight. We have Chiefy! Good grief, that was really early. 5.45pm, so <laughs> nearly four hours earlier for me. Welcome, Chiefy. Hang on, just did maps in my 5.45. Uh, yeah, four, four and a half hours early or something. Anyway, Chiefy, good evening, Chiefy. How are you doing, man? I know you've got a really awkward time zone, and it's... Uh, uh, is it really early in the morning for you or something at the moment? I can't remember. But yeah, nice to have you here, mate, even if you can't stay for too long or whatever. But welcome, Chiefy. And uh, we've all got Mr. Craig Harrison here, the Craig spot. Again, super early, 6, uh, 6, 11 p.m. Blimey. Two hours, 49 minutes early or something there. <laughs> hey, welcome, Craig. And Craig, thank you so much last night for the uh, gifted subs, man. I really, really appreciate that on the uh, Twitch Marvel stream we did last night. So, Craig, you're an absolute legend, mate. Absolute legend. So uh, we'll have a chat again uh, in the Am Squad Plus channel. I uh, replied to you early this morning. Um, and if you've got any ideas, you let me know, my friend. Right, next in, we've got the Gaming Hamster. Just looking forward to some dizzy action. Happy gaming. Wow. So, well, there's actually quite a lot of dizzy games. There's some arcade dizzy games to have a look at as well. Uh, welcome, the Gaming Hamster. I hope your hamster wheel is oiled and not squeaking this time. Welcome, Chiefy. And um, sorry, welcome Gaming Hamster and welcome Chica there as well again. And um, Oxo oh, Good, hello my friend as well. Nice to see you here. Bright and early as well, 8.38pm, wow. Welcome Oxo, oh, and again mate, thank you for all your support as well, dude. Thank you very, 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 very much. Um, FC Den Hog, how are you doing my friend? Good times on What the Dub last night as well on your stream. Very, very good fun game. Welcome FC Den Hog, I hope you're doing well my friend. 80s Retro Gamer, welcome my friends, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm not taking requests just yet, but Blagger, I'm pretty sure we did Blagger a couple of weeks back or something like that. It appeared on one of the streams recently. Um, I think it did anyway, I'll have to check that out. Um, but welcome 80s Retro Gamer. Oh, he says, I ever fancy doing a complete Amsoft night. Yes, I've already done that. Um, it's the eight. We did a whole A to Z of Amsoft one night. Uh, it was an epically long stream. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, a to Z Amsoft. Holy crap! I remember this. It was my monster stream that I thought I could get through really quickly, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it didn't. It didn't work out like that. Let me. Uh... So, uh, 80s retro gamer. Uh, here's the link in the chat for you. I just posted it there. That is the complete A to Z of Amsoft games we did all in one night. And that stream took us 8 hours and 16 minutes to get through all the games. <laughs> Bloody hell. There you go. There you go. Um, then we've got the lovely Brian Hooper here. Brian, how you doing, man? I believe you had a, re a request earlier. Yeah, you put it in the Discord. <laughs> but actually, it was a very, very good request. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, welcome, Brian. I hope you've been keeping well, my friend. Good to see you here again. Um, again, FC Den Hog, you request that when I uh, open up the requests in a, in a few minutes, hopefully. And Craig's got five requests lined up. Oh, my goodness. Well, the other thing I should say, we're going to keep it to one request per person if we can, um, given that the number of requests that normally come in. But later on, 
when people get a bit tired and they're just like chilling out watching and not like posting requests in the chat, maybe some people can get an extra one or two. You never know. You never know. Especially that I keep Craig happy. He's been very, very kind to me recently. Um, it does look like, I, I Craig, yeah, it does look like on the thumbnail that Robocop has farted. <laughs> the Robo fart, yeah. <laughs> um, Warzord the board, Time Lord, good evening as well. Hello, my friends. How's the TARDIS? I hope it's keeping well. Um, also, we've got the Saboteur who sneaks in. Request Saber Wolf and sneaks out. <laughs> okay, Saboteur. I'm surprised you're not requested Saboteur. There you go. Ahoy, Johnny Boy, next in the chat there. Good evening, Mr. Johnny B. How are you doing, my friend, my fellow lad lover? What grog are you drinking this evening? And any top tips for the request night tonight, Johnny B? Um, and then we have, let's scroll down, we have Dnuke here. Hello, Dnuke. Welcome, my friends. Good to see you again, man. And again, thank you for your support, as always. Um, Patreons, uh, the members of the Elm Squad, which just reminded me, look out for a Patreon post soon. Uh, I need your guys' input on something. Okay? All right? All right? So keep your eyes open. We'll do something nice for the Patreons. Uh, but welcome, Dinu. Welcome, welcome. We've got the Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz here as well. Hello, my fellow Adam Spam fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, Adam Spam. Um, um, Adam Spam family. Sounds like Adam's family would better. Adam's fan is better. Welcome, Robin. How are you doing, matey? How's your week been? Next, we've got German78. There's a moshing into the stream. Says the new Mortal Kombat movie is a good lap. Sure, it's not a great movie by any stretch, but it makes a change to see a video game to movie adaption that doesn't suck. Ooh! We were umming, me and the mi and Mrs. Ipo were umming and erring over where to watch it. That might have sw that might have swayed me into going, yeah, let's go and watch it. Hmm, I shall check. Maybe we might check it out this weekend and I'll get back to you. <laughs> hey, up mid dork, it's Big Joffa. Good evening, my friend. How are you doing, man? Hey, hey, to you too, sir. Welcome, welcome. And then we've got the Craig Wilson in the chat as well there. Friday flops in coming. It wasn't a flop, it was a leap into the chair. I'll give you a point for that, but you need to be more accurate, Craig. <laughs> and Craig, man, thank you for last night as well on the uh, Twitch stream, man. That was very, very generous of you. Thank you for those uh, gifted subs and stuff, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, 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 very much. Um, next in, we've got Wayne Jordan. Wayne, how are you doing, my friends? How's work coming along with the online... Um, I would say online emulator. You're not writing an emulator from scratch, but if you remember, guys, Wayne was trying to write some code so we could do uh, Amstrad games online against each other or with each other. So I wonder how you're getting on with that, Wayne. Uh, we need a better way to communicate with each other. <laughs> um... Anyway, I'll catch up with you in just a second. We have the Dream Leave Liam Parza vlogs here tonight as well. Hey, I'm looking forward to it too, Drew and Liam. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope your week's been good. Next up, we've got Mrs. Zypho herself, the Kate White, the Tatty Paradon. Good evening, she says to everyone. And lots of love to Mrs. Zypho in the chat. She's the very, very supportive Mrs. And I'm very, very lucky to have her. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Right, uh, we have a Musa. Musa, good evening as well. Musa sent me a very interesting picture. Do you know what? Shall I, shall I bring it up on the stream? Yeah, Musa sent me a really interesting picture uh, on um, Facebook earlier. Right, let me uh, let me just find it quickly. Oh my god, that picture's massive. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Musa went digging in his loft earlier and found this. Um, probably inspired by last week's Am's Vehicle stream or whatever. But Musa found this certificate that he got. Uh, well, it was in his loft he'd been digging around in. Um, he found this. Uh, it's a certificate from the um, Lotus uh, Esprit Turbo Challenge game. And if you... Um, I'll just take that off quickly. If you complete the game, let me just have a look here, brother, brother, brother. Um, we'll turn that off. Uh, what's up with my browser capture? Oh, hang on, there we go. 
So if you if you wrote if you didn't know guys, if you complete Lotus, it says here you are qualified for your Lotus license. The two numbers you require are those and that that and that. There was a card insert in the uh, game, and if you wrote that on the card and sent it off to Gremlin, well, um, you won this certificate. And News has found it. I said he, should, he ought to frame it and put it on his walls. Wall, oh, sorry, yeah. So yeah. Uh, Murray Robertson has won the Lotus Fruit Turbo Challenge World Championship and qualified to be the holder of the official Lotus license. Wow. I'm jealous, dude. I'm jealous. That's awesome. But thank you for sharing, Musa. Thank you very, very much, man. Interesting stuff, that. You're the only person I know that's uh, ever won that. So, <laughs> anyway. Let's have a look who else we've got here. Uh... We got a dang my poons. It's a Sean M. Neary here with us tonight. Welcome, Sean. How are you doing, man? I bet you've got an interesting game request. <laughs> Welcome, Sean. I hope you've been keeping well, my friend. And next in, we've got the man shovel in the chat. It should, it should please you to hear that I got Trista Bites to play Cauldron 2 on her Twitch stream earlier, and she was not impressed. No! Man Shovel, why would you inflict that on poor, poor Trista? And I'm not surprised she's not impressed. <laughs> naughty, naughty Man Shovel. Anyway, anyway, I'll be keeping well, buddy. Uh, where are my other greetings? Let's scroll through. Ah, we got a Yellow Belly here. Greetings, Yellow Belly. And uh, uh, Yellow Belly, if you're still um, taking interest in, in your, uh, see who wants to buy your book, Please feel free to post a link to your Discord in the chat. And we'll get some more orders for you coming in. Welcome, Yellow Belly. Are you at work this evening? Oh. Craig Wilson has donated two pounds to the Super Chat. It says Evil License in the post. Craig Wilson, you cheeky buggy. Bananas in the chat. For Mr. Craig Wilson, let the bananas rain down. For Mr. Craig Wilson there. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. You have been too kind over the last day or two, man. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's a Ewok license. Good grief. Anyway, thank you, Craig. Thank you. Right, uh, I better crack on with the greetings. Uh, nice to see lots of bananas coming in for you there as well, man. Um, we have a Maud in the chat. Mr. Maud, how are you doing, Maud? Lovely to see you again, mate. And uh, and on the streams this week on Twitch. I uh, hope your uh, day's been good. Looking forward to the weekend. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I faded in, didn't I? The camera went a bit weird when I jumped, le leapt in like a pamper, didn't it? Fades in, that's new. Yeah, yeah. Blur revision. <laughs> and then it works, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just at the point now where people saw my t-shirt. For those of you that missed it, Simon Osborne, aka Flibble Sam, got me this Lord Alan Shocker t-shirt. We even got an 80s Alan there as well. There you go. I don't know if I'll be wearing this out in public or not. Actually, I probably won't be. <laughs> uh, actually, Sean already called it there. It says, Betty never wears that out in public. Now, it's the first time wearing it tonight. There you go. Um, the Metal Mouse. What a name. All hail Lord Sugar. Horns, horns a lot for Lord Sugar there. Welcome, the Metal Mouse. Um, is this your first time here in the chat? If so, please let me know. And we'll give you a nice big Amstream greeting like we, like, like we do for new people. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh! Chief E. Chief 89. Three euros through the super chat. Chief e. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. I don't know if you heard me saying hello to you at the start of the stream. But uh, welcome, my friend. And thank you so much. Bananas in the chat, the chiefy there. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. You've been very supportive, man. Cheers, dude. Remind me, what time? What time is it where you are right now, chiefy? I know you're at odd hours, aren't you? And did I spell bananas wrong? Bloody hell! 
Oh, the, is the light bulb not working? Anyway. But there you go. Bananas in the chat for Cheapy there. Thank you, man. Thank you very, very, very much. I've lost my cap to you, sir. Um, right, uh, I better... Let's scroll on. Oh, we've got the lovely Andrea here tonight. Andrea Wyatt. Wow. A real backbone of the community as well. Andrea, how are you doing, Andrea? And it's about time you got a request played, isn't it, Andrea? Um, I can't remember you ever getting one for ages. So uh, I'll be interested to see what you come up with. Um, but thank you. welcome, Andrea. I hope you and your family are keeping well. We've got the Tactical Pirate Daz here. Arr. Good evening, uh, Pirate Daz. How's your sailing on the high seas been, my friend? <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome. Right, nearly done with the greetings, guys. Oh, we got Tommy in the chat. Tom, how you doing, Tom? Welcome, my friend. Good to see you again. Um, we did. We actually, you missed. A, I think you missed another Half-Life stream earlier in the week. But uh, we are now just over halfway through. So um, uh, we shall do some more Half-Life in a week or two. Welcome, Tom. How you doing, my friend? Anyway. Yeah, about time I got a new cap, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just a creature of wearing the same stuff over and over. Oh, 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 I've lost where I am. Hang on. Okay, right, just scrolling through. Uh, we have a Gangrel here tonight. Welcome, Gangrel. How you doing, man? Um, welcome, my friend. I hope, hope you've been keeping well, Dean. Sorry, just seeing the message has come in. I'll come back to that in a minute. Gagrel, cheers, man, for the hosties as well last night. Um, uh, I said that CPC Game Reviews patched Bruce Lee recently and uploaded to MDG. The 99 lives is gone, but so is the random crash glitch. It's a nice challenge now, Zyper. Ooh. Okay, thanks for the heads up on that, Sean. I was, I was thinking of doing a long play of uh, Bruce Lee soon, actually, for the channel. Um, Lord Respergu! Good evening, Mr. Lord Respergu. I'm just going to turn my fan on behind me. It's getting bloody hot in here. Welcome, Respergu. And happy Friday to you too, my friends. Welcome. Um, Jimmy Taylor is here. Good evening, Jimmy. How are you doing, my friends? Right, bloody hell, we're half an hour in. I'm still on greetings. Jimmy, how strict, my friend? And hello to Jamie if she's there watching with you. And we got the lovely Raina in the chat there. Uh, have my first vaccine jab this afternoon. Feel pretty tired now, so my focus will be great for this. Yeah, my after my first jab, it, it was about a day later, 24 hours later, it hit really hit me like a 10 ton truck. So just be prepared for that, Raina. Not everyone uh, gets the side effects, but um, just be prepared for it. So make sure you've got a nice, comfy bed and everything you need around the bed <laughs> ready. <laughs> And uh, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, da -da 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 -da, scrolling through. We've got Retro of Us here. Good evening, Mr. Rob DeLorean. How are you doing, my friend? Nice to see you again, dude. Nice to see you. How's the DeLorean keeping up? Mm. Uh, welcome, my friend. Uh, we've got Alex Ogle here as well. Good ap afternoon to you too, sir, in glorious Canada. Welcome, Alex. How's things, my friend? Lovely to see you again, like. Uh, oh! Oh, my goodness. Lord Respergu. With the $5 through the super chat. Oh, wow. Thank you, Respergu. Thank you, my friend. You can have the fireworks as well for that one. Lord Respergu, thank you very, very, very much. Can we see the bananas rain down in the chat there for Lord Respergu? Thank you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> How you been keeping, Respergu? Are you well? And I hope all is good with you, man. Thank you. You're very awesome and kind, dude. Cheers, man. Wow, what a start. Thank you, everyone. Um... Right, uh, hey, T-Dog, welcome back to the Amstream, my friends. Welcome, welcome. I'll be taking requests shortly. Um, let me have a look here. Uh, I, hope you've been keep I hope you've been keeping well, T-Dog, though. And we've got Dreamy in the chat as well, the Dreamy artist. Good evening. How are you feeling today, Dreamy? I know you've had a really busy and tiring week, so, uh, 
I hope it's not too bad for you tonight. Uh, BS Detector, what a name. Good evening and welcome to the stream, my friends. Welcome back, welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, thank you, FC Den Hog. And yeah, guys, if you could give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream, I would very, very much appreciate it because then the Google algorithms kick in more and start suggesting the stream to more and new people. And also, it helps with the video the next day and all that kind of stuff. But thank you, guys, if you give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Uh, well, what are we on at the moment? <laughs> uh, I've got two thumbs down. What can I do? What can I do? I'm, I haven't even done anything really yet. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Walden! Good evening, Walden. And Walden Newman says he had one of those. I think referring to the Lotus Certificate. If so, re really? That's awesome. Walden, do you still have it? That's cool, man. Uh, oh, uh, Wayne says, because we're asking about his work in the emulator. Going slow because I'm lazy, <laughs> but it's uh, ready enough to actually test it playing the game over the network with an expert on an SMS. How about with the Amstrad stuff, Wayne? Is that about ready for the Amstrad, or what else do you need at the moment? Yeah, the booze is definitely framing his certificate now. Awesome. Right, scrolling through. If I miss anyone, I do apologise. Oh, we've got Robert Berry in the chat, aka Rob CMDR Sabotage. How you doing, Rob? Good to see you, matey. I thought you might be down the pub tonight having a pint, but um, I, I bet you've been having an evening pint, haven't you? Uh, but I hope you keep it well, dude. Right, where am I in the chat? Nearly caught up. Uh, right, nearly there, nearly there, guys. And we'll get to our requests shortly. Oh, you're actually catching up on that stream. How are you, Tom? <laughs> Yeah, sure, we, we, we've been doing the original Half-Life as a semi-regular playthrough on me Twitch channel. You're popping on the Twitch every now and again, Sean. You might enjoy it. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got Mr. Zen Zero. Hey, Zen Zero. Nice to see you back here again, my friend. How are you keeping? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, uh, Tactify says, I told you due to lockdown, it's thrice around the bathtub these days. Oh, Periscope. Okay, <laughs> okay, and oh, nice, Andrea, nice. Uh, I've had a few requests for other things. Okay, Andrea, it just felt like I hadn't done anything for you for a while. That was all, and uh, you know, you need some, you need to give Andrea some recognition. Mike ZT, good to Arbit, sir. Welcome as well. Good evening to you too, my friend. And Zipral, good to see you here again, my friend. I hope both of you have been keeping well. Um, Don Fakakero again, or is it Fasakero? Fasakero? Fakakero. Please let me know if I'm pronouncing your surname wrong. All right. <laughs> Welcome, Don. How you doing, man? And Tall Paul as well. Good evening to you too, Mr. TP Alstrix, and Mad Commodore. Nice to see you back here again as well, my friend. Um, you was wiped out for five weeks from the first vaccine. Yikes! That's the worst I've heard. Most people, it's a day or two if it's bad. But uh, I'm really sorry to hear that, Mad Commodore. I hope you're doing better now, though. Good lord. Um, right, nearly caught up. Nearly caught up. Hey, Mr. Ross Gardner, how you doing? I believe you're a fellow Nottiumite, aren't you, Ross? If I'm, if I, if I'm getting the right Ross, there's a few Rosses that come in every now and again. But I recognise the name, Ross. How you doing, man? Good evening to you too, dude. And Kev Howe, good evening as well. So many people, blimey. And did I miss Cauldron? I know you would be on Bridget. There'll be no Cauldron too, and there'll be no Bridget tonight, that is for sure. Um, and the Jizz Jukes. <laughs> Jester, that's so funny. Guys, we raided a, 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 a lady on Twitch last night after Marbles. Um, she, I think she was a... Uh, uh, Argentinian, I think, it turned out to be. And she said hello to Jez Dukes and went, Hello, Jez Dukes. <laughs> so everyone's calling him the Jester. <laughs> hello, hello, Jester. I call you by your proper name. And Mr. Matt Myers, good evening as well, Matt. How are you doing, dude? Welcome, my friend, welcome. Oh, Rob, yes, I'm looking forward to that stream tomorrow night as well, dude. Yes, yes. Um... Hey, Wayne, we'll catch you back here in a bit. Enjoy walking the dog. Yasiek, good evening to you too, my friend. Nice to see you here tonight, man. 
welcome, welcome. And we've got Rob Cox back in the chat as well. Good evening, Mr. Rob Cox. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, you're not even proud. Nice one, Ross. Nice one. I thought you were. See, I, I try and remember stuff. It's hard keeping track of all these things. There you go. Mm. Whereabouts it not to you, are you, Ross? And we've got a naughty, naughty GP arriving in the chat there. Hi, GP. How you doing? <laughs> welcome, my friend. Welcome. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a line in the sand here in the chat, and I want to see requests in the chat. So let's see some requests for tonight. So what I'm gonna do is. As I said, um, I'm going to pick out, so look, there'll be like billions of requests probably come in. And I will pick out the three most interesting ones at, at a time, right? And I'll play those three. And then once we play those three, I'll go requests. And we do the same thing over and over. So it'll be the, I'm looking, you know, we're looking for, you know, something a bit interesting. Maybe a game we've never played before. We can do games, of course, that we've played plenty of times in the past, but maybe not ones that we've recently featured on the Amber screen. So, uh, let's have a look. Excuse me, FC Den Haag with Trashman Goes Moonlighting. That's interesting. I don't think we've seen that before. Uh, Manship with the Sacred Arm Armor of Andriad. Mmm. It's been a while since I've done that. I put that as a maybe. Z Prow with Boulder. Oh my god, I love Boulder Dash. Oh my god, there's some good requests coming in already. German Germany has been obsessed with um, Frankie. I'll make a note of that. Sean with a good request there. Pinball Dreams. But the ignition table. Hmm. You know, I kind of fancy it. For a quick blast. Hey, yeah, just us from around your parts. <laughs> I think. Well, actually, no, you're not quite ready, Hucknall. You were a... Uh, you were colic, weren't you? Juffa, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um... Jimmy, we had Continental Circus, I think, last week on the um, Anne's Racer night. So uh, feel free to choose a different one. Tactical Pirate, I'm not doing Tusk uh, Cauldron 2. Retro Plus and Tusker. Man. Again, I've never played that. I've been meaning to. It's, uh, I think it, yeah, 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 yeah. I know the one. Warzord, again. Oh, LED Storm. Uh, feel free to choose another one. It doesn't work in the emulator. It's really, um, it's, I can't get that game working properly in any emulator. Although I've not tried CPCE, but I'm not going to have to set up in the stream software. We're going to have a look at LED Storm another time, so feel free to request another one. Um, Ducky the Spitting Image. Do you know what? I'm, I'm writing a few of these down. I said I'd only take three. Um... And uh, Craig, sorry, yeah, Craig there with um, Commando Tracer. I think I know that one. Uh, hey, Mr. Darren Cole. Good evening, my friend. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> I won't hold it against you, Chopper, but it does explain a lot. <laughs> Hey, it's not my fault, Tactical Pirate. It don't, it don't bloody work. It don't work. Ooh, which one should we start with? Right, I've got a few here now. Perhaps I might go through a few of them. Um, I often want to start with a bit. I, I often want to start with a big game. Um, we haven't had this on for a while, actually. Obviously, we did a lot of this a couple of years ago. Yeah, I'm going to start with Sean's request. Not showing favouritism to Sean, just like, I thought I want a big game to start the stream off. We'll have a quick look at... <laughs> so 
For the butt plug, I mean book plug. Special <laughs> announcement and preview reading on Sunday stream. Oh, well, there you go. Look out for Yellow Belly stream on Sunday, then, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, you get a special book reading preview on his on his stream. So look out for that. Uh, Seven thirty p.m. Yeah, dude. So yeah, thank you, and let's see the bananas in the chat. The yellow belly there. Ha <laughs> ha, GP. Oh, I thought you wrote, it's a dirty book. It, oh, you wrote, it's a DIY book. Actually, mine was funnier. <laughs> hey, Paul Owen, good evening, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing, dude? Um... Paul Owen says, how about some Donkey Kong? It's, it's been a while. Uh, and Ross said, uh, a spitting image or 180. Okay. All right, that'll do for the request for now. We've got quite a few to have a look at here. Um, oh, CPC, hey, CPC Game Reviews. Good evening, Nish. How are you doing, man? Sean was just telling me about, uh, Sean was just telling me about your work on uh, Bruce Lee. Um, fixing Bruce Lee. Good stuff. Anyway, yeah, we'll start with a quick blast on Pinball Dreams. Not going to play for long. I'm going to pause my music awkwardly there. Just a quick blast. And he requested the ignition table, didn't you? Um. Hey, Main Haze. Good evening, Mr. Main Haze. How are you doing, my friend? And uh, how was your stream earlier? Hey, much love to you too, Paul. It's really nice to see you back here again, my friend. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll, have, we'll have the intro on for a little bit. Right, I'm just going to adjust my fan behind me. Well, this way. One sec, guys. Hush now, Craig. Hush now. Um, uh, Tom says, but doesn't that game have a much later DOS version as well? I believe it appeared on DOS. It's obviously famous for its Amiga. Been on the Amiga, this one. It's a very recent conversion to the Amstrad, Tom. Uh, 2019. And Emmanuel Rusin. Good evening. Welcome to the Amstrad, my friend. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm not very good on the ignition table. I think it's the least favourite table for most people on this game. I haven't played Pinball Dreams in about a year, though, <laughs> I think. Mike likes Beatbox is the best one. I like... Um, I do like... I thought Steel Wheel was my favourite, but I think Nightmare has become my favourite now. And uh, what's everyone's favourite table on this one, then? Um, Rob, have you played this on the Amstrad yet? I know it was amazing on the Amiga. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Steel wheels all the way for Ross. Oh, what? <laughs> That's a sucky start, man. Sean goes for Nightmare as well. I thought so. You a typical goth metler. <laughs> um, Steel Wheel is Craig's favourite. 
Darren, have you not seen him play this yet? Bloody hell, what have you been doing with your time, Darren? Go and get Pinball Dreams downloaded and give it a blast. ASAP. Oh, that was lucky. Right, I'm not very good at targeting on this table. I know the nightmare table quite well. But yeah, just look how smooth this is. Just beautiful graphics, and beautiful music and sound. God damn it. How lucky. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to be challenging your high score on this, Sean. God knows what you've got on it, got on it but... Uh... Time you sort of see anything a little bit negative. There we go. Oh, 500k. Building up. Two. Good grief. Oh, man. Um, Daryl Curl says, I don't believe this is a CPC game. Yes, it is. Works on a stock. Amster I think it even works on a Ford. No, hang on. Is it top 2A only? I think, yeah. Works on stock CPCs with 128k. I'm pretty sure it's 128k. Uh... What was that? Surely you added me for the message. Uh, oh, I did about 13 or 14 million on ignition. I broke the top scores on the other three, though. Nice. I said stop hitting the flippers at the same time as you're making the gap for the ball to go through bigger. If I'm going to hit... Uh, I don't know. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. All right, I'll give this one more go. And then we'll move on to someone else's request. Uh, 128k only, but works on an expanded CPC 464. There you go, there you go. Oh, who's on the hunk list? Dare, dare I ask, GP. Yeah, it's almost as good as Advanced Pinball Simulator from the Oliver Twins. That wasn't half bad though, anyway, for a budget game. Right, let's get you up there. Nice. 
nice. Damn it. You gotta leave the ball really late onto the edge of the flipper to get it up that ramp on the on the left. That nearly caught me. Oh no, Rex. <laughs> you do not, Sean. You do not. That that's safely in my hands. <laughs> um, the winner of that Pimple Dreams competition we did on the Amstream all that time ago was Syntax Horror, and he did indeed receive a physical copy of the game from Batman Group. But I guess until Wayne uh, completes his online Amstrad emulator thing, uh, we won't be doing any more competitions like that on the Amstream. Okay. Right, there you go. Really late. There you are. Shut there, you have to concentrate here. Can't take your eyes off it for a second, really. Oh my goodness, that oh I was like, I was about to say, oh, I was really lucky there, and then immediately get wrecked. Right, last ball. So yeah, I'm in no danger of challenging you, Sean. Awesome. Nudged the table there. I think that got me out of trouble there. And then I got wrecked. Ah, oh, bugger. Yeah, no danger of getting anywhere near you tonight. Um, uh, what's that? Sorry. Uh, Zyper played the nightmare table real quick to show Man Shovel. Because Man Shovel wanted to see the nightmare table. And Sean's posted his scores in the chat there as well, if anyone wants to compete against him. <laughs> um, I'll, sh I'll show it very quickly, very quickly, because uh, I want to I wanna get to other games. I've done I've done Pinball Dreams to death, really. But, uh, uh, four. Quick load as well. And there's the nightmare table. Probably my favourite one. It's one of the most difficult ones as well, of course. But, um... Alright, we'll, we'll have a quick go. We'll have, uh, we'll have one ball. Gotta get it up there. There we go. One million. Let me just let this drop down. 
I'm going to show you the top of the table. There's actually a lot of hidden decks to... Um... I'll just pause it there. There is a lot of hidden depths to Pinball Dreams. Yeah, uh, put the music down just a touch. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you're always aiming for, like, hitting this, like, this ramp here, that ramp. Well, that's not a ramp, but this little ball trap that can score you big. And uh, obviously, not too hard to hit this and get into the top there. But this one here, if you can hit this trap when you've got the lights lined up here, that's where you score mega, mega, mega big millions upon millions of points. It's really, really hard to hit this trap. But you know, if I just let the ball drop down here, hang on. Like, like it's where you launch the ball from the flipper. So, like, if I launched it now with the ball right on the edge of the flipper, it might end up getting up into that ramp. So, most of these ramps and traps here, like from this right flipper, you're hitting the ball where it's right on the very tip of the flipper. It's really hard to do, very careful. Um, so, you have to be very, very careful doing that. Anyway, there you go. Uh, there you go. Who was, who was that for? That was Pinball Dreams for Sean, wasn't it? Okay, let's have a look uh, for the next game then. Um, Craig's Bar was really keen for me to have a look at Commando Tracer. And I don't remember that one very well. So let's load that up and then I'll catch up on the uh, chat messages. Uh, oh, it looks like a, it's a Spanish game. Oh, this is also known as The Last Commandos from Dynamic Software. Uh, let's just see. Is there a UK version? There isn't. It's Spanish only, this one. Okay, never mind. Oh, GP, are you leaving us? No worries, GP. You take care, my friend. Good night and have a great weekend, GP. Oh! Oh, Mr. Aaron Phillips. Oh my goodness, there's a fiver! Dude! It's the essence of pinball in it. <laughs> hey Aaron, you pinball wizard. Thank you very, very, very much. Eskim, let's have some bananas in the chat for Aaron and let the bananas rain down. I thought you'd be sat outside a pub in a beer garden having a cheeky pint this evening, Aaron. How you doing, my friend? And thank you very, very, very much, mate. That's really kind of you, dude. Much appreciated. Uh, you, uh, thank you, man. Um, so, take his diaper. Don't talk about going command. I'm sure GP will get over excited. Well, he's off to bed now, so uh, he might have missed that. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, we'll get some more requests in a, in a short bit. Don't worry. Um, at the first batch of them, I'll try and get through them as quick as I can. It is what it is. Okay, Aaron. <laughs> Fair enough. Cheers, dude. Thank you, man. Uh, Sean says, I've tried to explain the sweet spots and flippers to people and they never get it. It's true. Uh, you are, Honestly, you're looking really closely at the flippers. And all, and you're looking at pixels on the flippers and trying to judge where the ball is, the right part of the flipper. Mm, mm. Right, anyway, let's uh, get this game up. Uh, Commando Tracer. And thank you, everyone, for giving Aaron some bananas there. Aaron, you're a legend, dude. Thank you, man. Pub Warm uh, found a good one in a place called Hassocks. Are you at the pub at the moment, Aaron? Uh, are you, are, are, or have you just got back for a bit? Um, can't even read that. It's, uh, it's not a good, that is not a good font. <laughs> Oh, music. Hurrah. Brian says, I'd sell an organ to own a proper pinball table, preferably ACDC or Adam's Family. Ooh. Oh, the Adam's Family one is awesome. Um, I got, I didn't get, to, actually, I didn't get to play it in the end because of the cues for it. But there was an Adam's Family pinball table at uh, Play Expo Manchester, but it was a sit-down version. 
You literally sit in an in an electric chair and play pinball. You literally sit in it and you can get electric shocks from the chair. It's insane. That is the one to own. Ah, talking to we've got another Brian in the chat, Mr. O'Higgins. How you been, mate? It's been for me walk before I sit on the hula hoop. <laughs> okay. What, that, a tiny little crisp hula hoop? You can sit on that, it won't break. Welcome, Brian. <laughs> what was the Twilight Zone like? one like? Is it just a standard uh, pinball one? No extra fancy stuff like the Adams Family one, uh, Joffa? Yeah, that, that was that was bloody amazing. I wonder if I can find a picture of it. Adam's Family Pinball. I wonder if this is actually a custom homemade job then, actually. And I'll open this in a browser. This is what I was talking about. That is actually at the Play Expo. That looks like the Play Expo I actually went to, interestingly. But there is an electric chair. I think someone's built this themselves. I don't know. This didn't come with the table. But that is kind of cool, though, isn't it? <laughs> Get the electric chair version. Awesome stuff. I don't think that's an official release then. Just the best pinball table ever made, Zypho. I haven't found second it. Right, next time I have one of those conventions, Joffa, I will look out for um, the um, uh, Twilight Zone table. Uh, Teclado is keyboard, isn't it? A Lancer, is that joystick? Let's try it. Let's see what this is then. Right. Uh, oh, it's like a map here. You're choosing the planet to go to. So we'll, we'll go for the... Huh? That was moving on its own then. Huh? Or is it, re is it just recentering? I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's actually quite smooth and fast. But it's tiny. Tiny plane area. Oh dear, I'm about to die, I think. What am I, uh... I don't, what am I meant to be doing? It's like, def it's a bit like Defender, or, um... What's that other one? Uh... Oh. Bloody hell. Um, oh, power. Okay. Um, fantasy. Oh, zone. What's it called? Oh, the Sega game. And uh, the Amstrad got like a uh, clone of it called Out of This World. It's really colourful and gorgeous. Enemies just keep respawning over and over. I like how we've got a static background, but like the outer edges like scroll. It actually, actually looks quite nice. It's a cheap effect, but it works. Um, the sprites are nice. Maybe a little bit hard to distinguish at times. Maybe a bit overly red. It's nice enough. Why did you uh, pick this one, Craig, by the way? Uh, Mike ZT says... Oh, uh, I think you must... Let's pause that there a second. I think you must collect all items and get to the home. Oh, okay. So this is called Command... Sorry, I should have given them full name. This is called Commando Tracer. Oh, I love Mr. Helly. Perhaps we'll have time to look at that later. Commando Tracer, this one is. 
And Matt, this is not a new game. I think it's from Dynamic Software in 1988. So it's not bad at all. Uh, there was there is an English version of this I thought it was about the last Ansoft release really this game we're playing right now Ansoft weren't doing anything in 1988 oh are you talking about a different game uh, Craig UK version of this is on CPC power is it Commando Tracer. Hang on, let's have a look at the packaging. There's a Spanish one. Oh, it was called The Last Commando. It got re-released on budget. Right, okay. So, the disc version won't be here, but the, maybe the tape version will be. Ah uh, yeah, Mr. Heli vibes in this one. Manual, I've never seen... Uh, I, I think I've heard of this one. I don't think I've ever played this one before. Uh, uh, it's, uh, no, no reference to this ever being an Amsoft release though, uh, Craig. And, uh, 1988 is too late in the day for Amsoft. Right, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, nah. So, let's see. Well, the UK version's on tape, so you can download the tape version and have English and English language in the game. So there you go. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, let's have a look. Uh... Hey, no worries, Emmanuel. Thank you for joining in tonight. Hopefully, we'll see you back here on the Am stream again, my friend. Have a great uh, weekend. I assume the Black Cube is our home. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there's a... I think we need to click these. I don't know. That's a... Oh, that's a third black cube. Power up. Hmm. How do you know how many items you've got and how far you've got to go? Oh, I collected a thing. Oh! What's this? Uh, there's a crack copy beside the tape. Oh, right, there's a crack disc version someone's made. Right, okay. Um, yeah, Brian says, this is a very uh, great looking game. The sprites are well animated and very colourful. I agree. Hey, Retro and Lim, Steve, how you doing, man? Any idea what we're meant to be doing here? I press down here. Oh, there's a timer. There's a timer happening. Where do we have to go? So done another cube there. So you have to click the uh, the white, green and red squiggly line things 
Assemble them in the right order in one of them things. Then what? Where do we go? What do we do? There's a timer counting down. Oh, I'll just reset it. Oh, oh. That's new. What's this thing? It keeps pushing me off it. Don't collect enemies. If I push down, it just it just it just bounces me off it. Uh, this is a game called Commando Tracer, or as it's known in the UK, The Last Commando. Yeah, I I I don't know what else to do there, but um. <laughs> Tom, there, <laughs> like No Man's Sky. Um, Beer O'Clock says Retro Limb. Good stuff, mate. Um, but let's... Hey, Simmy, good evening. Welcome, Mr. Simmy. How's tricks, mate? So, yeah. Um, unless anyone knows what to do, I think I'll leave that one there. And uh, if someone comes in the chat there, right, you need to do this now. I'll move here and do that. Then I'll leave that one there for now. But that's a, that looks a cool little game, actually. I'm liking that. Um, you should set up all the timers and then finish the level on this platform. Oh, okay. So, does it wrap around circular, Mike ZT? That's the exit for the game. But we need to set all the timers. So we need to find another cube, right? Oh, here's one. Uh-oh, I needed a red one. Now I have one. There's different colours every time. So, to choose red, green, white. Oh, right. When I set that timer, a, a, a green blob appeared in the bottom left corner. So, there must be one, two, three, four, five, six more. Five or six more cubes. You set all the timers going. It's like you're setting... I think you're setting bombs in each of the black cubes, right? Or something like that. And that timer resets the clock. Nice. Right, we need a, a red one. Before we go in that cube... Oh, there it is. Cool, 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 cool. White, green, it's gonna be a red. Green, white. That's that timer. Another green blob's appeared bottom left. Right. Clocks pick up. Oh. Oops. get to the next cube. Here it is. We're looking for a red thingy to spawn though. There it is. It's always red, green, white. Okay. Uh, looks like maybe three more cubes to do. Oh, there you go. There you go, two more cubes, right! I need to pick up more stuff. Oh, clock time over there, pick that up. Uh, we've only got one green block, oh! Oh no! 
Is that me dead completely? Oh, I've lost a light. That's cool. What I noticed is there was like this lightning th thing up here top left. Randomly. So I don't quite know what that is. What's your goal on this iPhone, mate? Oh, well, we've just been talking about it, Matt. Um, I think... See those? See that black cube below? I think we're setting bombs in each of the black cubes on the planet's surface. And you need like a greeny, liney thing, a red one and a white one to like set the timer. Maybe they're like wires, red, green and white or something. I don't know. And once you've done all of them, as you, oh, sorry, as you do each black cube, a green line appears here. And I think you've got to get a, all the green lines light, lighted up here. Lit up, sorry. And then there's like an escape platform you go to, I think. Hey, the real Odie. Good evening, Odie. How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's tricks, dude? Welcome back, Wayne, from the dog walk there. Oh, is Big Juffer off? Uh, where is it in the chat? Hey, no worries, Joffa. You take care, man. Good night, my friends. You have an early night and enjoy your weekend, mate. You take care. We'll see you again soon, dude. Um, but yeah, Odie, I hope you've been keeping well, my friend. So at the moment, like Matt, we're waiting for like a red squiggly line thing to spawn or a white one or both, actually. Oh, that lightning thing top left is going down. So I reckon that's my my shield is broken. That's the, re the remnants of my last shield or something like that. God damn it, we want a white and a red one. We're actually close to um, beating this level. Oh, power, power, power. God damn it, why, why aren't they spawning? There's a red one. We just need a white one now. There it is. Uh, so it's red, green, white. There you go, that's activated. We've got one more to find. Yeah. Hey, no worries, Odie. Turning whenever you want here. The clock. The clock resets a timer. There's a timer. Oh, there's the last cube. There's a timer in the middle bottom of the screen. I presume that's when I set the bomb. There's a clock pickup that resets, that pauses that timer. Power pickup, thank you. So we're now just waiting for a white to spawn. Got a green. There's one. I think that's all of them, right? And now, and now we escape. Is this cube activated? Yeah, that cube's activated. Nice. So we've just got to get to that platform with the rockets. Than I uh, thought I was gonna actually. That's a good request. <laughs> Explosion effects there. And then there's two more planet levels to go for. There you go. Well, that's cool. I quite like that. Initially, I was thought, oh, it looks, uh, uh, 
it looks a bit the plane area looks a bit small but then and the graphics the graphics are nice but it's all a bit too red if you know what i mean um uh but hey then he started moving around i was like oh this is this moves really smoothly and fast uh and then there's actually a bit of depth to the game i like that good request craig good request um yeah give that one a go sean and thank you for the ggs there do you know what we're, we weren't really doing uh, scores for games tonight but um yeah give it uh, yeah give it marks out of 10 guys um, yeah i'll give that an 8 out of 10 little hidden gem that one but i'm gonna make a note of that hidden gem there you go in my little text document i've got here Right, um, we're going to move on to another game now. FC Den Haag had a really interesting request. Um, he asked for a game called Trash Man Goes Moonlighting. Now, there is an original, there is definitely Trash Man. Um, but Trash Man Goes Moonlighting was a sequel to Trash Man. Trash Man, you played as a bin man, going about your daily business, um, collecting people's rubbish and all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> it was quite, it was a fun game on the Spectrum. I don't think the Amstrad had a good version of it. Oh, it did. Oh, there is, uh, Trash Man Goes, goes Moonlighting on the Amstrad. I've got to download the disc, though, because I don't have it in my collection. Uh, yeah, a lot of people going 9 out of 10s and 8 out of 10s there for Commando Tracer. Well, that, that's, that's a hit, Craig's Bar. Nice one. And that's what I like about doing like a request night like this is that every now and again we come across a game we've never played before that may well be like a hidden gem. So there you go. Uh, let me just get this up then. There you go. Commando Tracer from Dynamic Software. Very good stuff. Very good. Uh, so this one is called Trash Man Goes Moonlighting. I don't quite know what you do in this sequel, but we're going to find out. I should point out as well uh, that this looks like a very rare game. So if you look on the CPC Power website for it, it's got no box art scans. It hasn't got a manual for it. Um, it hasn't even got an official crack of the discs. Someone's done a crack of the tape there. So very little is known about this on the Amstrad. I think it maybe maybe didn't even get properly released. I don't know. This is from Virgin Games in 1986. It's called Trash Man Goes Moonlighting. Um, I'm not taking requests at the moment. Uh, this is about the third game uh, we're doing. I might do a couple more of the requests from earlier. And... Um, and then I'll start taking more requests. Um, Brian, I'll be asking a request uh, again shortly. And you can certainly ask for that, definitely. The pal, uh, pal, uh, pal only and in Spanish makes it kind of hard for a game to become famous. Yeah, some of the dynamic games did make it over to the UK. Um, oh, was, uh, this is FC Den Hogs request. And he says, I don't know the game. I tried to find something you maybe never played before, so I don't know if it's good or not. Oh, it's music. So let's find out, FC. Right, I want to enter your name a little. Oh my god, that's laggy. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, it's using joystick. Press up for two player game. We'll press down to start. Press down. Uh, empty 14... Empty 14 bins on Seaburn Road. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this... Is that a bin? Oh, that's a bin. Right, I've got that. How do we? I think I've emptied that bin there. So it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a dustman simulator, a bin man simulator. 
Right, I'll put this to work. So I scored 100 points for that. Right, okay. Well, it's um hardly exciting stuff, but hey. Emptied the bin. Why is he wearing a pink top as well? I think you'd get a bit of grief from like the uh, fellow bin men for wearing a pink top, but hey. What's this down here? Nothing? Okay. Hmm, slowest municipal worker ever. It is a bit slow. It's hardly exciting. Mow my lawn, please, trash man. Oh, is this a lawnmower? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. This is ch this is chore simulator. 1988. I don't know how many bin men will mow your lawn for you as well. They're more likely to wreck your lawn than mow it. Yeah, you've heard of Advanced Lawn Mower Simulator before. <laughs> and you're right, you should be wearing a, um, a high visibility jacket as well. Well, this is exciting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Well, let's we'll, we'll, we'll complete this task and then see what I, I'm assuming. Then this this section of the road is done. And then I'm just intrigued to see what else comes after. If it's just another road of a few bins and a lawn to mow, I think we'll move on. And I can see why this game didn't get a, a very big release. <laughs> it's colourful. Was this game made by the job centre? <laughs> there are more bins further up. Okay. What do we do? Go in the lorry? Oh, let's see if the screen scrolls. No. Oh, God, there's like loads of bins. Cyclist. Oh, then the bin lorry comes up. Trash man killed in road accident. And then it's game over. Is that it? <laughs> well, there's not much to it there, really. I tell you what, if it was faster and you zipped around, that would have been a lot more fun. But, um... Huh. Oh, Jess Duke says something there. You're not allowed on the grass, that's why you're mowing. Oh, I see. So, when I collected his bin, I walked across the grass to get to the bin lorry. But because I did that, that triggered the event of having to mow the lawn. Is that what you're saying, Jez? Oh, your da uh, uh, Jamie's dad was a bin man for 30 years. Did he ever wear a pink, pink, uh, pink t-shirt for work, German? <laughs> Tall Paul says, any lonely housewives? Now, there could have been a bonus game, a uh, bonus level on this game. <laughs> um, I actually don't know if reckons it's an early version of the, Z of the Sims. In a way, I kind of like the charm of this game. It's not something I play a lot of, though. Um... Yeah, that's why it's moonlighting. Moonlighting is doing um, 
if you're moonlighting, you're doing extra jobs on the side of like your main job and you're not declaring it, sort of thing to the taxman. Right, bin man hot coffee, yeah. Oh, that's what it was on Trash Man, another great game, the original Trash Man. This is supposed to be a sequel to Trash Man, but there you go. All right, um, let's have a look at the list here then. Oh, German, you've been asking for this for weeks, haven't you? <laughs> Hang on. We'll do one more request from the first batch, and then I will take some more requests in the chat after this game. German has wanted, been wanting me to bring up uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood for a long time. German, you're going to have to tell me um, what the hell I'm meant to be doing in this game. Oh, wow. Let's just start straight off there. Mow the grass to the bushy, sexy female neighbour. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Um, you also be lying if your boost was trying to get into some pants. I've, I've heard of that show. It's what made him famous before Die Hard, wasn't it? I've ne never, never seen it, though. Uh, hey, Incorrector! Good evening! No worries, man. You join in whenever you want. Right, so what the... Oh. Frankie says you have zilch pleasure units. Oh, I missed the rest of that message. Okay, I can't go in that door. Can I go in this door? I can. So, what are we meant to be doing? I quite like that transition between rooms. Now, for those of you that don't know, you should do. Oh, what was that there? That only works when I'm stood here. Or not. Ah, oh, I can... Okay. For those of you who don't know, Frankie Goes Hollywood, of course, is a famous 80s pop band. You are carrying nothing. Right, okay. Oh, fire him down for your inventory. Okay, got it, got it. Fire up does nothing. Fire and left does that. So I've got to search a pleasure unit. <laughs> uh, I can't get out the door. Oh, I can now. Right. Controls are a bit weird. Pause up there. Frankie gave you 1,700 more pleasure units. You have 70, 1,700, and you're 1% a real person. What? So I called the telephone. Something happened. I couldn't really see what was going on. I did something to a pot there. Frankie gave you 1,700 more pleasure units. You have 3,400. You're 3% a real person. If a window opens like that, it's like a walk into it. <coughs> he most, oh, Zypho, you have to mostly point at things. Do that by holding down fire and pushing directions. Okay. Now the pint of milk. Okay. Eight hundred more pleasures. You're four percent a real person now. We'll take the fish. We have milk and fish. And we're now five percent a real per person. Right. Interesting game. This is not 
got a crap game, says Arnie, but it takes a lot of time to get used to it. Okay. So nothing to touch there, right. Uh, Jess Hugh says you, you have to get 100% real person collecting stuff and play mini games. Goes on and on. Right, did we get everything in here then? The pleasure pill. Poggers. What's this? You now have a pleasure pill. We just pick. It's a different icon. All right. Okay. You're seven percent a real person. Okay. So far. into the win window. Oh, what am I meant to be doing here? Uh, 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 what's going on? Uh, what am I meant to do here, guys? Uh... This one's a night. What, what am I supposed to do? I can't. All I could do is move left and right. Get to the bottom. I'm, I'm sort of stuck on the top here. Uh. What's that? Weird ass gamer. How do we. How do we. Go in the things. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Frankie gives you 3,000 more pleasure units, you have 9,600 now. What's going on? I think, I think I'm the American flag. What the fuck is going on? want to be like slightly above him weird ass game oh he's got two hits left right I've got 13 This is American versus USSR or something. Right, right. Two tribes, I guess. 40% a real person. Okay. So what the fuck do we do here? Place floppy disk in drive. Okay. Right. Security clearance required. Uh, we don't have a floppy disk though, do we? 
Oh, oh, hello. There's a lift up here. Uh, oh, for this screen, you need to be carrying a floppy disk, uh, but I've never found one to begin with. Oh, God. So it means, uh, uh, do I have to find a floppy disk elsewhere in the house and come back and do all that again? <laughs> about here then. Okay, I'll have a quick look in one more house. Let's go, let's go in this red door here. What a weird ass game. This looks identical to the one we've just been in. Oh, this is different. Time for the discs to load. You have a pleasure pill. Can you actually take one of these and eat it? Pain will be hard. Okay. Oh, we're out on the street again. Bloody hell. <laughs> what a game. So you can't get anywhere further to the left there. There's also a murder mystery to solve, but you must find the body. Actually, I'm kind of intrigued by this game now. Oh. You now have a flat jacket. this game now, but what the hell is that? As a pleasure pill, right. That's another pleasure pill. Can we actually take the pleasure pill and eat it? Let's see. Pain will be hard. Oh, okay. We've already done that. Oh, let me go to a mini game. And you have uh, eighty percent real person. Okay. What the fuck are we supposed to be doing here? thing at the top flashing away. I can only move left and right, by the way. Can't go any further there. Eating the pills to boost the four stats on the right. Okay. Are we, are we just meant to be avoiding this for the, for the duration of the timer? Get the ball into the hole. Oh, right, I see. This is not hurting me. We've just got to... Ah, okay. Arse. Bugger. I'm running out of time. Oh, right. Okay. Huh? We just did it. What happened? You missed your exit. How do I, how did I, how am I supposed to go into it? Oh no. Oh. So I died there in the minigame. Okay. 
Blimey, it's a bit... What's the word? Esoteric? Is this all the manual? Otherwise, I've never worked that out for ages. <laughs> well, there you are. That was a bit of um, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. <laughs> Let me uh, cross that off my list here then. German, I hope you enjoy that, dude. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's Lewis here. Hey, Lewis Watto. Good evening, dude. There's a massive force. It's all 6028. Compatibility love to you all. <laughs> Yo, Lewis. How you doing, man? Nice work on the arcade caps. I saw you posted in Discord. So there you go. That was Frankie Goes to Hollywood there. We'll leave... We'll leave the uh, music there. Whoa. I don't know how to sort of think about that game or rate it. It's interesting. This mate, that was awesome. Brought back a lot of memories. Hey, brilliant German. Did you get any further than I did there? <laughs> I hope so. Frankie says this game is Mexican radio. What does that mean, man shovel? Mexican radio. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> German gives the game a 10 out of 10. I think there's definitely depth to it. Um, let's see, how long does it take to complete this bloody thing? Also, also, we'll see if there's like a, a walkthrough for this. Hang on. I could go to Hollywood. Ah, damn. There's no walkthrough guide or map or anything. There you go. There's the box art there. Welcome to the pleasure game. <laughs> And you get a free special live recording of Relax. <laughs> awesome. What's the manual like, quickly? Oh my god, there's a lot to read there. Oh, there's that murder mystery thing someone was talking about. Murder mystery. You will come across a body. Who is the killer? Solve the mystery by process elimination. Find all the clues which appear in windows. 23 facts in all. Return to the scene of the crime. Walk into the window showing the suspects and point to the killer. Caution. You will need to restart the game if you're wrong. And take a tip. The system of noting the clues may help your investigation. In the quest to form your personality, you must use what has been gleaned from everyday life to complete all the arcade elements. These elements are linked within the dome by a conduit. The Right, okay. That's a bit long for me there. Right, hang on. Frankie goes to Hollywood Amstrad. See if there's a long play of this. Oh, Commodore 60. There's a Commodore 64 long play that's 26 minutes, 22 minutes long. There's also a ZX Spectrum walkthrough, uh, which is one hour 17 minutes. Wow. I'm going to have to look at these long plays. Maybe uh, the Commodore 64 guy must have found a shortcut. Anyway, all right, enough waffling. Uh, Mexican Radio is a wall of voodoo songs, I bro. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I remember that version of Relax is quite rare. Fair enough. I think the game itself is quite rare. I've never seen it uh, on eBay or anything like that. I'd rate it 8 out of 10, says Arnie, but he loses points due to his abstract design. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, mm, I, yeah. Okay. Um. Ross, are you still here? Ross Gardner, with your request. Uh, actually, we've got a few others there. Let's, I'll tell you what. Let's um, Let's take some more requests, then. Let's, um, so everyone gets a chance, because we had some new people join. Like, Batman77 just joined in. Hello, Batman. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing, dude? Uh, Jeremy says the first I got was managing to fill all the four meters, but I've never solved the murder. I can also remember my dad saying on the chip tune version of Two Tribes. <laughs> it was very popular at the time, this game. Hmm. I don't know then. I don't know. Right, I'm going to draw a line in the sand in the chat. Anything below this line, any re I I'll look at requests below this line here. So put your requests in the chat now. And I'm just going to go grab a drink from the fridge, guys. 
I'll be 20, 30 seconds, and then I'll have a look at what requests you've been put in. All right, be right back. back guys thank you thanks for sticking with us right brian would like astro attack Ooh. um that isn't that an amsoft game i don't think i've played that in bloody ages or i don't think i've played much of that at all okay that's a maybe they're going in yeah wait and see if andrew's got a request uh Jimmy wants some Exelon. We have done a lot of Exelon over time. So that might be unlikely, that one. But um, you feel free to request another one. Um, same Gangrel. We've done tons of uh, uh, aliens over time. Um, oh, they're also quite long games. Because if I get into the first... The US aliens, I'll end up playing it through and completing it. <laughs> and I'll never get to everyone's request. Um... The other aliens I did, a, it's one of my first ever live streams, I did a full long play of the UK aliens, the first person shooter. And, um, uh, there's a, oh, yeah, I don't know on that one, I don't know on that one. Oh yeah, Retro Bust, you had, um, Tusker earlier, didn't you? Yes. Let's put that there again. Uh, Retro Newman like Viz, <laughs> oh god. But yeah, I've not really looked at that one before, to be fair. Oh, Matt Meyer says Trolls. Yes, that's a very rare game, actually, I think. Okay, I'll make a note of that. d -Nuke with Chubby Gristle. <sighs> um, Andrea would like some Rainbow Islands. Uh, I think we did Magicka quite recently. I don't know, actually. I don't, actually, maybe we didn't do Magicka. Um, no, Bridget. Lewis would like Scooby-Doo. Oh, I wanted to come back to that one, actually. And Batman 77 with Joe Blaze 3, specifically. Hey, Jason Grant. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Um, wow, lots of requests. Um, oh... Uh, oh my god, wait, let's t just loads of requests. Uh, Freddy Hardest. The first Freddy Hardest game, because I think there's two of them on the Amstrad. There's Freddy Hardest in Manhattan as well. Oh, Wayne, are you off, buddy? Hey, no worries. Good night, Wayne. Have a great weekend, dude. And uh, keep in touch, my friend. Mother Chucker, welcome to the stream as well. Hey, how you doing? Uh... Just any, any Dizzy game. Pick uh, pick one of the arcade um, Dizzy games. One of the spin-offs, if you want. Um... Brian, what was your request earlier, matey? Was it North and South or something you had? Uh, Brian Hooper. Oh, two people have asked for uh, uh, anti riot. Uh, is it anti riot or anti raid? I always get it wrong. Right, hang on then. Uh, are you changing your choice, man shovel? Oh bloody hell, dragon spirit! Are you trolling, Johnny boy? <laughs> 
That's two people requested to Sacred Armor. I might go for that one. Retro limit's one per person. Stop just spamming requested. Uh, Tarhan, good evening. Hey, welcome, Tarhan. How you doing, man? You want anti riot? All right, Manchival requested that as well. So, uh, before you arrived, actually. The Sacred Armor of Anti Riot, isn't it? God, I hopefully I can remember what to do. I did a long play of this. Antiriad. It might be Antiriad. Oh, there's nice music here. Antiriad. I don't know. And 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 anti anti riot or Antiriad. Antiriad sounds a bit better, doesn't it? Actually, thinking about it. Mr. Greg McGregor, good evening, dude. Is uh, spitting image your request, Greg? Right, I'm not going to write any more down because I just won't get through them. I don't think we need to stir up ideas. We get plenty coming in retroly, but thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this music is great. I let it play a little bit longer. I think you can get this on both uh, disc and cassette, Matt Myers. I think. music. Let me just turn off the set disk drive sound there, hang on. It's got the disk drive running still. Ah, oh, I think that's, yeah, that's the end of the music there, there you go. get to the suit haven't we arse right okay so this is this the end of the plane area there it is okay right running you have to, to all right okay up to jump but if you're running fire buttons right. oh no bad 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 I think you have to just get rid of all the enemies on here. Okay, how do you do a low... Isn't there a way to do like a short throw of the rock? Put the music on quietly in the background. Uh, oh no, oh no, they respawn. Rachel Wilson. Good evening, Rachel. Nice to see you back here again. How are you doing? So this is a game called The Sacred Armor of Antiriad. Very beloved game. So maybe we can't hit this guy then, so... We'll just jump over him. Oh, 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 oh. God damn it. I'm... Oh. I can't I can destroy that one. I can't Oh, I can hit that one. Right. Okay.
We don't need to destroy every enemy. Just get we need to just get rid of this one, I think, and then we'll then jump up there. Oh! Oh! Alarm! Alarm! Ass. <laughs> How you doing, Rachel? Nice to see you again. How you been keeping? Okay. I think we have to go and find our suit. No, wait. There's a suit we have to get. Can you not control? I can't remember. Can you not control the throw, the length of like the rock? Oh, boys, how the frick do I manage to hit anything here? Oh. Ass. There's a mushroom. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Oh, I get hurt from the um, fall damage. And I can't get back up there. Oh! Ow! Oh, man. I, I, I've completely forgotten. I'll start that again. I completely forgotten what I meant to do in this bloody game. Ow. I mean, I have done a long play of this, but my god, I I've just forgotten. I, thought I have forgotten everything. Right, that ghost just needs to... How do we hit that bloody ghost? You have to literally have to throw the rock when he's right at you. Nope, don't hit him there. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, that close. Right, okay. Oh, <laughs> that firing arc is rough. It is, yeah. Not sure why other trees that they just attended in an outrageous stand up comedy event. <laughs> uh, the main spike reminds you of God, says Robin. Oh, did I miss Polter? Hello, Polter Rogel. Good evening. Welcome, Polter. Uh, head to the left to get your suit and need to collect the energy crystals. Yes, yeah, something like that. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Oh, man. So, can we not pick this up? Alright, maybe not then. I remember having to get... Oh! I remember this. There's your suit. You need to get in that suit. Oops. Oh, man. Oh. No. No. Oh, God. I forgot how frustrating this game is. Oh, I remember this. Anti-rad suit 
active. Oh, oh. Gravity prevents uh, takeoff. Oh, don't you have to get like the anti grav boots or something like that? I, I. So you can't, can you not move until you get that? Hey, Neil Lovely, good evening. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Yeah, we, I don't think we can move. I think we have to. Ah, uh, I think the boots are up here or something like that. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. No, I don't want to go in the suit because you can't. Uh, I think you want to jump up here somewhere. There you go. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, now we can have, we can see our stats and stuff. We can see our energy bar. And if you destroy that thing before it sets off the alarm. Uh, oh, man. Oh, this rings a bell. You have one rejuvenation remaining. Please, come on. I don't actually, can we even get up here? No, we can't. Oh man, I don't know, it's a bit of a maze. But I did a long play of this about two, three years ago. So, and I've completely forgotten it. It's starting to come back to me now. We need to find anti-grav boots. I think they're outside in like the um, tree area somewhere. I think now, actually. Hey, Texie eighty eight, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I hate the um, throwing up there of the rock. It's it's annoying. On oh, Neil, uh, we're playing. Uh, we were playing a game called. This is game is called uh, the Sacred Armor of Antiriad. And there you go, Polter as well for you there. Sacred Armor of Antiriad. So yeah, cool game. I have done a long play of this. Oh, second armor. Over two years ago, and it shows how quickly games go out of my memory. There you go. There's a link in the chat there if you want to watch that long play um, at another point or something. But I, I've completely forgotten what to do there. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, Manchester and Lewis, I hope you enjoyed that. All right, let's have a quick blast. Of, uh, Brian O'Higgins requested Astro Attack. We'll have a quick look at that. It's, I think it's an Amsoft game. Uh, Brian Hooper, sorry, I don't know if you replied to me. Oh, blimey. Noisy there. Uh, what was your request? Did you want North and South? I don't know if you reply back to me in the chat or not. Um, oh, there we go. Fire to start attack. Gollum 13. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome back from your look as well, TP. Gollum, how's things going of Ghosts and Goblins? Oh my god. Oh. This is, a, is this a clone of an arcade game? Oh, alright. Avoid the gates. Right, okay. I wonder if they, I thought they would might open it. Oh, and avoid them. We're getting scores. Oh, people putting scores in for um, Sacred Armor there. I'll have a read of them in just a tick. Oh, do we have to collect this? Oh, 
right, right. Right, okay. Okay, we need to collect those items then. Alright, not a bad little game. Maybe a touch simple, but... Oh, we've got some new enemies now. The, all right, these bad boys shoot at us. Ah, oh, bugger. But you like uh, Antiriad? Looks really great. Yeah, it is a good game. Once you get into it, it is frustrating and that throwing... I hate weapons that have throwing arcs on them. They are bloody annoying. Oh, we've got to watch the top. There's a time limit on this. Right, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a time limit ticking down there. We'll collect those items. Go. Alright, it's not a bad little game this. Not a bad little game. Uh I, I think you would maybe lose interest on it after oh my god. I think you'd lose interest on it maybe fairly quickly. Come here. Oh, oh. Shoot! Oh, you can only fire one bullet at a time. Got him. Right. Uh, Sean says it's a cool score chaser type game. Yeah, it seems, it seems alright, this. It's just, it's, it's just nothing spectacular, is it? At the little... Oh, that was close. Hey, there we go. Huh? Oh, a gate appeared as I... Oh, the gate, the gate spawned on me there. It's annoying. It's all right, this, but I think you'd get a bit bored of it after uh, I don't know, twenty minutes or something like that. So fast through the first few levels are purposely easy. Okay. Oh, then I died there. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. That is Astro Attack from Amsoft. Um, Magic Knight. Good evening, Magic Knight. How are you doing, Magic Knight? <laughs> Welcome, my friends. Hope your week's been good. How you been keeping? Get to the later stages where the enemies fire back at you. I think I'm going to move on from that one. Just trying to get through as many requests as I can. Uh, but I think we've seen probably enough. But uh, <laughs> um, oh, hang on a second. What's happened to my screen here? All right, I'm sorted. And what was the scores there for Anteriad before? Hey, Jerry BDN, welcome. And Spartan X as well. Good evening, uh, gentlemen and ladies. How are we doing? Welcome, welcome. Scores for Anteriad earlier. I haven't gone through them yet. 3 out of 10, 7.5, a 10 out of 10 from Manshovel. <laughs> Mind you of a cauldron for some reason. Oh, that's because it's from Palace. The same, uh, it's the same programmers. Is that why you chose this one, Manchel? Because it's the same coders. I think it's the same coders, anyway. Uh, Matt Myers a six out of ten. Uh, Retro Lim an eight out of ten. Oh, Brian, you did want not you wanted North and South. You did ask that for that one ages ago. North and South, right? I've added that to the list. Well, actually, maybe we could do that next. Hmm. Let's see, have I got the disc candy? I do. All right. We'll have some North and South. That's a good game, that. 
You was being this. Let me pause my music then. I do too, Matt. Sometimes I want a simple Ansoft game. We've done a few like Ansoft themed streams in the past, and I really enjoy doing them. Simpler times and simpler gaming. What would you give Astro Attack there, guys, out of 10, by the way? Oh, I don't mind Galactic Plague Spark, I have a soft spot for that one. What a nice animation there as well. Night, Sean, but with an Amsoft theme. We've done that a couple of times in the past, but I'm, I'm, I am I kind of want to do that again. We'll do it as a request, so people we'll get a mixture. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why your message got held for a view there. Um, Polter, but it's, I'll put it through there. So it's nice graphics. Yeah, good graphics so far. Right, uh, one or two players. One. I want to find keys, joystick, we'll do joystick. Uh, define keys. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. L for select. Or escape. Oh, options play one. Define keys joystick. Oh, I see. This is for the player one keys. Define keys select. I do X or escape. Yeah. Loading game. Oh, I didn't turn the disk drive sounds on. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Right. All right, this is the menu screen, and there's various options here. So at the moment, there's a little dude playing an arcade gab. This means arcade mode, and if you select this one instead, um, it's more of a strategy game. We'll do arcade. Um, you can also change the year being played, 1861 to 1862. <laughs> We'll try 1863. I think it adjusts how things play out in the game a little bit. It might adjust the difficulty somewhat. Um, we'll turn Red Indians on. And that's probably not politically correct anymore, is it, to say that? Oops. We'll turn Weather on, just for the lols. Um, what's this one? Uh, I think this is like ships arriving with supplies you can turn on. This will all make sense when we get into the game. Um, so you can change the difficulty of your opponent by clicking this guy, I think. Alright, he looks a bit more butch. Oh, it's a general. He looks like a complete... Alright, complete... the guy doesn't know his, the, <laughs> the front from the back of his gun there. And that's me. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I've got my... Oh, you can choose between computer and that. So you can have a computer versus computer simulation. And you can poke the, the photographer up the bum. You ready? <laughs> there you go. Right, okay, that'll do. We'll, we'll just get cracking. Oh, you got to click on the bum. <laughs> nice touches there. Cool, I like it. Um, yeah, we just need the Blazing Saddles, fast saddles theme, yeah. Hey, Pierre, uh, Piero Serra, welcome to the stream. Holla, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. <laughs> I hope you have a nice time here on the AM stream. Uh, turn disc over. Okay. North and south. Two. Got it. Uh, just return. There we go. The last year has seen the south gaining victory after victory. But Lee knows that in the long run, the Norse industrial might will uh, might will vanquish at last. He needs a decisive victory. Right. So it's North versus South. Uh, it's the American Civil War. 
Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm on the north. Um, uh, I forget what you call them now. Um, so, oh, there's no music anymore. And you, you choose where to move, but there's different like sub arcade games for each thing that happens. You can have battles uh, between two ar armies. There's a bit where you're running around uh, like a side-on platformer shooter section where you storm uh, an, the enemy's fort. Uh, but you move your pl move your, ar your your armies and men around the uh, map there, uh, capturing various locations. So. Um, let me see what I don't, if I remember what to do here. Right. Ah, oh, right. We need to uh, we need to start capturing places. So, for example, we'll move this guy, this him down here. Because they're they're really really close. We w if you can capture two, a, a train line between two red points, you get uh, I think you get the train um, delivering supplies to you. Um, but this army is under bad weather, so it's currently not lit up. I think, and you can't. Oh no, you can't select them to do anything. Right. Okay. The this guy. Do we have a battle? Let's have a battle. Charge! Okay. Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm mucking this up bad, badly. Shoot! Move him out the way. two of these guys left there we go that was a messy battle but we won <laughs> okay so we'll move this army down there we get another turn to move there's the train that's the, the train deli uh, deli uh, deliver supplies right <laughs> mongo like candy bad mongo <laughs> Oh, that means we've got some money in our vault, so we can... We, oh, 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 we've been attacked. It's another charge. Jace, hey, good evening, Jace. How you doing, man? What you can do here is destroy the bridge. There you go. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm being attacked again. <laughs> Let's try that again. Will they fall for the same thing? Oh. Oh, they, they will come round the back. Shoot, 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 shoot.
Oh, we just survived this. Oh, there's three guys left. Three army guys. Let's get up here. Quick, 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 quick. Needs retreating. Ah, oh, you fell in the river if you saw that. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we're doing quite well here. What I want to do is play this, uh, the uh, arcade game where you storm an enemy fort. Oh, we might be able to do it here. Ah, oh, this is the storming the enemy fort game. Oh, I uh, got hit by a doggy there. Look at this, side on scrolling at arcade action going on. Jump over the bits there. You only have a limited number of lives. You gotta see there's a clock at the bottom of the screen there. You gotta be you gotta reach the end before the uh, clock catches up and takes over you. But we're on the easy level at the moment, I think, so that was quite easy to do there. We just captured the fort! go <laughs> yeah so we're not far off so I think can we if we just take I think because there's no army there we just occupy the land and that land becomes ours uh, we will take that and what we could do then is combine our two armies together side by side there currently. And then we could take on the last army there. Trade and arrive with some money for us. Which means we can get supplies arriving soon, I think. Uh What's happening? Oh, we got enough. Uh, we got enough money to get a new army, right? Oh, they just captured two. Like, right? You see where the armies just moved? Their, their armies just moved. There's like a. They've moved onto a. Uh, I'll show you on the map. You got a red point here and a red point here. If you've captured all on the train track between two red points, it means the train can come and deliver money to you, and they can. St he can start buying his army back. So we've got to. We've got to stop him very, very soon. The good news is the weather is the, the bad weather has just moved. So we can take this guy and go and attack them. Now hopefully we might be able to finish up finish them off here. But don't screw it up. Oh 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 we've got a bridge here. What we do is wait for them to start coming across the bridge. Aha! There you go. I think. Oh, uh, this is the last fortress. We just have to capture this fortress. There we go. No! Oh. Go up here and just avoid him. You only have a certain number of uh, knives. Ass. Go, 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 go. Oh, screwed up again. No. Ah! Get up there, get up there. There you go. There you go. Nah, easy peasy. We have got it on. We have got it on the easy level at the moment. So, uh, or relative, relatively easy. There is a whole range of difficulty levels and stuff. Remember, Tom. It does get harder. Uh, we can set a harder level, but um, <laughs> that should be it. I think we've just won. Well done, Captain. You have put an end to this bloody war by defeating the South in three months. It's time to return home to make America a land of freedom. <laughs> 
Well, there you go. There you go. A nice ending screen there. <laughs> Rambo just took four subs. <laughs> uh do we get anything else here let's have a just quick check what an awesome game and like i said guys uh it's not as easy as that if you want to crank up the difficulty oh then we're back on the screen here um scott uh, go on then scores out of 10 for north and south i'd be interested to know but definitely a nine out of ten from me there let me catch up on the uh chat there oh yikes alex <laughs> Oh, you Canadians are too nice anyway. You're too nice. You'll never get to war. <laughs> uh, 9 out of 10 to 8 out of 10 is coming in. Chiefy, a 4 out of 10. How come you don't like this one, Chiefy? It's fine if you don't know. We can't all like the same stuff, of course. Um, guys, we wanted to do that to the Bridges in Bridget for a long time. <laughs> That's true, Main Hayes. Um... Oh, yeah, Kev. Yes, they actually got this full game on the Amsterdam Action Magazine cover tape. I remember I got it. it yes. Yes, it was a pain in the ass. Uh, the tape loading. Definitely brilliant game on disc. Knock a point off my score for it being on tape. Um, uh, oh, uh, but uh, I'm gonna, I think there were some political political discussions there i will ignore that i think we should leave that there um sean says it's such a shame the secrecy's commercial life was coming to an end at this time where people were only learning um how the machine worked i mean this is um actually it's fairly simple programming really uh decent ai i suppose it's just really beautiful graphics it's just a um, you know a really decent graphics artist and having the time to go the extra mile um with this one all the bits of presentation and little touches here and there. It's good. Um, there you go. Right. Uh, other scores coming in. Let's see there. Jimmy and eight. Um, oh, yes. This would be great with two players as well. Imagine playing this against your brother or sister or your dad or, or, a, or, a, or a good or good friend. Right. Yeah. So it's got a lot of longevity, this one. Um Nine out of ten from Nish, Jason an eight, Polter uh, a nine. Um, eight out of ten from German. Brian a nine out of ten. An easy nine from Magic Knight. Andrew says five out of ten. Sorry, not my sort of game. No worries, Andrew. No worries. Uh, Jerry BDN a nine. Spartan X an eleven. Technic a nine. Matt an eight. And FC a nine and a half. Woo! Uh, 8 out of 10 from Maud, Robin Hook a 9, Technic I'll do that before we move on. <laughs> Matt really wants his trolls, bloody hell. Alright, we'll do that next then. Main Basic is a 7, there's a lot to it, the intro mini games are a bit shallow, it looks gorgeous though. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Hey Jimmy, good night dude. Uh, thanks for always catch you soon, fun. Hey, no worries Jimmy, you take care man, all the best to Janie as well and have a great weekend you pair. Um... Yes, Tarhan, that's right. Yeah, it comes from the French comics, they tu Tuniques Blues, which is really good. Funny without ignoring what the war is about. So it was a French comic about the, um, yeah, the Civil War in America. This is what the game is based on, anyway. And Real Odie gives it a 9. It says, look at this game on the CPC. I found it. it was almost as good on the Amiga as on. Almost as good as the Amiga version. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And uh, before we move on, there you go. <laughs> right. All right then, Matt. I'll do yours next then. Um, I've got a game called Troll, not Trolls. Let's have a look. Um, if there's a game called Trolls. Uh, I think you. Mean, I think Matt. I think you mean troll. I'm. I'm. I'm going to assume you mean a game called Troll, not Trolls. I think we've had a look at this before on a request night, but it was about a year or two ago. And I remember we didn't get very far in this one to work out what what to do in it. I think. Brian reckons it's better than the PS4 version. Whoa. Um. So. How, how is it a remake? 
what have they done with it? I, I, I'm not, I didn't even hear it was released, the PS4. Oh! Oh, there was music there. Let me load that up again. Let's hear the music. Chiefy, there wasn't a, a, there wasn't an official Tron game on the Amstrad. There's a few clones out there of Tron. Uh, well, at least the Tron Cycles game. Yeah. Nice tune. Life Expectancy Zero, that's a Tron clone, Tron Cycles clone. But a bit slow, but not very good. Alright, nice music here. One second, guys. Just need to stretch my legs a second. Cypho actually got me north and south on the Amstrad uh, a few months ago. There's the box for it, north and south. Nice big box to disc. Really nicely presented. From uh, Infograms, there you go. Right, nice tune there, that will do for that. Oh, I'm that, uh, I'm that guy far right at the moment. Oh, what? What the fuck are you meant to be doing? I think I just got wrecked again. Hold on. Hello. The Ams cat's just arrived. Hello, mister. I'm going to try. Would, any, would anybody like to see the Ams cat? What do you want? Is German off? Uh, hey, good night, German. Take care, man. Have a great weekend. Come on. Come on. Might not let me pick him up though. One second. Come on, Mister. Yeah. Running at me. Come here. Let's cuddle. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. There you go. You can just about make him out there because he's a bit, he's a bit um, camouflage. Can't really see him. He's it's all black. <laughs> right. Do you want to play some trolls, Mister? There you go. The Ams Kitty, Ams Pussy. Oh man, you're, you're, he's molting a lot of fur at the moment. Oh, he's on the desk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Something fell off the shelf and it spooked him. He's just jumped down. Oh well, never mind. Never mind. Right, there's the Ams cut. Guys, does anybody know what the frick are you supposed to do in this game? Um, <laughs> hey Musa again. Um, there you go. There you go. Uh, oh, hey Lynx forty eight k as well. Welcome to stream. Oh no, we've done too much green beret recently. Turn the music up. I will. Uh, was oh, it a bit loud anyway? Right, there you go. Move around. Oh, I threw a skull at one of those trolls and it and it died. Right, uh Right, I need to get 
against this troll, but he's... Oh, he got away from me. I presume we have to destroy them by throwing a thing in front of them. Like, like that. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh no! He got away! Oh, I got one! Uh, how the frick? Oh, okay, this way. Right, okay. Oh, they keep spawning. I, I, I have no idea, really, more much idea what the. I mean, it, it, it sounds lovely. this thing here. Oh, when we do, we go upside down? What, what is this madness? Oh, I killed him. Uh, there's... Anybody know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing? Uh... I think I died there again. I've got one life left. I'm still stuck. I'm stuck on the ceiling at the moment. Oh, no. oh I just died. Oh, this. Oh, oh, this is last life. Oh, oh man, shovel. With the four six four through the super chat. Oh my goodness. The magical 464 there. Thank you, Man Shovel. Says Jazzy Chiptune, another banger from Palace Stop. Indeed, bananas in the chat, please, for um, Mr. Man Shovel. Let the bananas rain down. <laughs> Oh, my eyes just went a bit funny there. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Retro on the Thank you for the 199 there. Oh, right. Oh, was the... Uh, Oh, right. Can you turn the music up, please? can barely hear. Are you saying that the music is too loud? Oh, so oh sorry, guys. I didn't realise it was too loud. Uh, bananas, one more time there for Retro and Lim. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Unle unless he's getting uh, annoyed by the music rather than it's being too loud. Hey, Tarhan. Good evening, dude. Good well, sorry. Good night. Too low. I, I never know if you're trolling or not, Retro and Lim. That's actually quite loud. Is anyone else thinking the music's too low? It is loud. No? Oh! Near 
Oh god, sorry, the dancing sugars are still going. I wonder if the dancing sugars there on the go. Bananas in the chat. Neil says louder. Right. I think I'm being trolled now. <laughs> Bloody hell, I'll turn it down. I'm, I'm actually turning it down a bit. It's grand. Music is fine. Levels are good. Thank, thank you, Mr. Neil Simpson. Can we have bananas in the chat? And Mr. Neil Simpson there. I think, I've, although I think I'm being trolled. Right. I think I'm stuck here. Thank you, uh, thank you, Neil and Retro and Liam. Right, got him. But I can't get up on any of these things here. So what do I do? Oh, fire and... Oh, fire! And a push in the direction makes you climb up. Mushrooms, don't we? Oh man, and I've lost one. GP's cousin Bob has donated one pound. With great charity stream, I can't wait for my copy of Bridget. What's this a charity stream hidden joke? Great think... charity stream. I can't wait for my copy of Bridget. Uh, bananas in the chat for GP's cousin, whoever that was. Uh, what's the charity stream joke? I know it's from uh, Novabug stream, but uh, I missed the joke. Your own volume was on low, was it, Retro and Lim? Right, okay. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to move on from the <laughs> troll. I have very, very little idea what the fart was going on there. Thank you, GP's cousin Bob there. Uh, bananas rain down there. Oh! Neil Simpson. <laughs> With the... <coughs> Excuse me. The 179 through the super chat there. Another dono from Neil there. Uh, with, with no message this time. Bananas in the chat. One more time for Neil. Neil, thank you very, very much, mate. Thank you, dude. Oh, man. There we go. Lots of bananas there. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> right. Um, well, Neil, thank you, dude. Thank you. Um, all right, we're going to move on to another game then. Uh, so which ones have we done? We've done Astro Attack, Sacred Armor, and Tyriad. Uh, Jimmy's gone. Um, we did Troll. Um, oh, Lewis, are you still here, Lewis? We've got to do your request as well. Um, and we did North and South, right. Oh, YouTube went a bit haywire and started bringing up donors from Nova's charity stream weeks after it happened. Oh, yes, yes, I had the same thing. Main hated the same thing on his stream as well. Like, uh, previous week's donations kept coming through. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, that's what it's from. Thank you, Andrea, for explaining. Cheers, appreciate that. I get it now, I get it. Our scores out of 10 for Troll there. Uh, the thing is, I've, I can't score it because I think I need to read the manual. <laughs> And try and work out what what the hell you meant to do there. It's it's a bit of a strange game. Um, but yeah, yeah. Ryan really like the fancy zone style game earlier. Uh, Commando Tracer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we get seven out of ten, five out of ten, nine out of ten. Music too low. Oh, Neil. 
I've just seen that. 6.35 from Lynx. Piero, troll out of 10. Uh, Brian of 5. Andrea, 6. Yeah, it was really... I, I, can, see, I can see why it was extra funny then, Man Shovel. It, it got me stressed, though, uh, when it was happening to me in my stream. Um, let's wait for the um, alert to come through for Neil. Uh, Lewis, are you still here watching? Because uh, we'll do your game next if you're here. Yeah, Maud, same here. It's not sure what to make of it. Looks interesting, but a bit tricky. Six out of ten. Six out of ten from Mike ZT. Manchel gives it a ten out of ten. Yikes. I think it looks good. Probably worth learning. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Why's your alert not come through, Neil? Oh. There we go. It was just a bit delayed. Neil Simpson, Neil, Mr. Simpson, with another one pound donation through the super chat. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, matey. Thank you for your third dono tonight. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're doing that, but thank you, man. Thank you. This is play gunboat and turn the volume up. Neil, we'll be taking some more requests in a little bit. Um, so request that and remind me. Has Gunboat got good music then or something? Right. There we go. Thank you for the give, thank you for the bananas there to Neil. Okay, I think Lewis might have gone. Um, so I'll put a question mark next to his request. Let's have a look. Um, for Oh Dinook, you requested a game called Chubby Gristle. I've heard of this. I think I've played it once before on um, an AM stream. I don't remember much about it though. Are those sausages? What are they? I think I think there's sausages spelling out his name there. How weird! Oh, it's music. Oh, look at this. Animated letters. OMG, it's OSG. Old style gaming. Good evening, dude. You've seen that loading screen before? Yeah, I think... I think we checked this out on a, on a request night like a year ago. Neil says, my fridge freezer broke yesterday with 400 pounds of food in it. I'm still crying. Dude, what are you doing? Don't know into me then, you dad bugger. Mate, I'm really, really sorry to hear that, dude. Holy crap. That's, that's really bad, dude. Sorry to hear about your fridge freezer, man. Not the band Robbing Gristle. I've heard of them. Chubby Gristle. Nice music here. I'll have a little listen. I'm just going to wash my hands because I've got cat fur all over them. Syria there. Syria, sorry. Nice intro there. Nice intro. Right, how do I start the game? Because you can't park here. Right. Oh! Right, so it's a platformer. Collect the items sort of thing. Right, okay. Fire to jump. Okay. 
So it's a Monty like platformer. Trespassers will be sat on. What? Uh, gonna go down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you get full damage. Right, okay. One of those platformers. Oh, a green trolley. I just picked up a green trolley. Okay. Oh, no. Well, it, it plays smooth enough. I like the music. No! Oh my goodness. Oh, the graphics are okay. They got a bit of charm to them. Uh. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, uh, OSU says, uh, Johnny Boy and GP have overtaken you and Tapper. Oh. We're having a little uh, community challenge at the moment on the Ant Stream Arcade, if anybody wants to join in. We're playing uh, Tapper currently, uh, up to the, the Tuesday coming. We've got to put a high scoring on that. Hey, Pirate Daz 2, welcome back. What gems have you missed? Uh, Commando Tracer was surprisingly good. Uh, North and South has definitely been the best game so far tonight. Um, yeah, it's basically a Monty clone, this one. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Alright, you, right, you can sit on the cross there. Oh my god, it's one of those games of like absolutely pixel perfect timing needed. I do love the music and presentation on this. Oh, I think I might have broken my car. Alright, okay. Alright, we'll have one more go on this. Let's see if we can get a little bit further. Let's see what other delights wait for us in the game. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the whole purpose and point of the game is, though. Unfortunately, no. Oh. Is this a thing to collect? That was a thing to collect. I don't know what that has given us, but okay. Yellow bottle, I'm not sure what that was for. I have no idea what that creature is. Huh? Oh no! Oh, it's game over. <laughs> Reminds me of Roland in Time, but with better music and graphics. Yeah! It's a lovely little game. Alright, I'll give it one more, uh, I'll give it one more explore. do then is we're going to go down the steps to the bottom right there and see where that leads us. Oh no! Oh, I got spiked! Oh. I'm going to do this bit all over again. Bloody hell. Unlucky timing. Oh, I don't have to wait for it. Yay! 
Yeah, the music's great. What? I, I couldn't move off that thing then. I was push- Guys, I was pushing left then as I was coming down the thing. Uh, I don't know then. I don't know. Right, I'll, I'll have a little look up here. There we go. Off we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave Chubby Gristle there. Guys, we've got some other game, a lot of, a lot of other games to get through tonight. Uh, oh, it's Nish off. Hey, good night, Nish. Have a great, good night, and have a great weekend, dude. See you soon, man. <laughs> yeah, I was Jean Jez. That was really funny when she was calling you Cheers, Cheers, Dukes. It might stick, unfortunately, uh, Jester. You might become the Jester. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Um, scores on the door, so Chubby Gristle. It's not a bad little platformer, that, I think. Uh, if you like, if you like that sort of Monty-type uh, game and Roland in Time and stuff, that's a quite good little platformer. Um, it's just that I find them all just annoyingly hard with, like, pixel-perfect jumps and timing and stuff like that. But if you're into it, that's a good... That's a good example of the genre. I'll get, I don't know. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 overall or something like that. We've got a 6 and a 7 and a 7.5 and a 9 and a 6 so far for scores. Right. What was the other request then? Let's have a look. Oh. Um, retro or bust. Uh, are you still here, dude? We know retro on limb is. Oh, Andrew has been waiting for a request as well for a while. Um, and Greg McGregor, we're going to have yours coming up soon, I think, as well. And then I'll uh, take a few more requests from people, I think, just to freshen it up. Uh, Andrea would like... Uh, oh, actually, I don't, I don't have the disc. Yeah, I'll have to download it. Andrea would like some Magicka. Which I haven't really played much of, um, but it's a, a newish game from um, Redrack or uh, Usebox.net. Uh, right. right, just downloading the disc now. Eight chubbies out of ten from FC Den Haag. <laughs> there you go. I'll get better than that. Uh, Piero says, looks fun, probably a seven. There you go. Spartan would like me to play AMC, uh, Astro Moon Corps, but part two. It was some dead aliens and blood. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be asking for requests in a, in a little bit. Maybe, maybe after like two or three games. Yeah, there we go. Now, this one's for Andrea. <laughs> what was that, Andrew? You're going to be ramming the Jester name down everyone's throats. Sounds a bit dodgy. Oh, the Jester. <laughs> oh, it's music here. Nice. I was expecting it to just be a mode one spec report, so it's actually rather impressive. Oh, the uh, Chubby Gristle. Yes, yes, they could have done a, a, a lazy um, Specky Fort. But it looks like the Amstrad got its own version there. Right. Really liking a lot of the new games coming through. Ah, oh, right. Well, we're going to be doing a feature on that and the channel coming up very shortly, Andrew. There might be a few more you might um, come across. Okay, joystick fire to start. There we go. Juan J. Martinez. There you go. It was also known as Redrack and uh, Usebox.net. Are you making fun of the font there, old style gaming? <laughs> but I think, uh, didn't, I think, hasn't he done versions for the Amiga on this one? 
So you can try the little wizardy thing with bloke at the bottom there. Stun them and then walk into them. And and the enemies that spin across left and right and you can then um, right, clear them off. But you can chain uh, enemies getting stunned by uh, uh, from one other enemy that's been hit. Sorry, what? I'm not talking much sense there, am I? Sorry. Right there. It's a simple little game. Uh, I found this one maybe a little bit oversimplified. Uh, I wish there was more you could do with chaining the enemies so like higher bonus scores and stuff. But it's in the tradition of bubble bobble and all that kind of stuff. Not my not my cup of tea personally, but this is really really nicely made for what it is. I haven't really played Snow Bros, so I, I, I'll take your word for it, RSG. Oh, for goodness sakes. There you go. It's a cool little game. Uh, when was this released? This was 2016 this was released, guys. I've got a new enemy here. I think. Oh! Oh, these wizards. Alright, okay. Oh, you have to hit them from behind. Right. Or hit them with another enemy. I got it. But yeah, the sprites should be run really nicely. It looks like 25 frames per second minimum. Maybe 50 FPS, I don't know. Uh, music's nice enough. Oh! He got unstunned really quickly there. What? No, I do not like Rob Lands or Sharon Lim. Um, so there you go. Uh, I don't know whether I want to... Shall I give it another go? Alright, I'll give it one more go because I wasn't really paying much attention there. Exit looks like the stairs out of Prince of Persia. <laughs> yeah! Oh, he jumped up on me! Son of a bitch! Like a, it, this is like, how would I describe this? This is a really, really simple game done exceptionally well. Do you know what I mean? Really nicely presented. The MSX version is called Night Night, and it's bloody brilliant. Uh, what's the difference between, uh, between the two, then? What makes that extra brilliant, or whatever? Was Snow Bros rumoured to be coming down in the GX4000 at some point? It seems to remember an ad. Um, I don't remember seeing an ad for it, or it being talked about, really. Actually, did Snow Bros even come out on the Commodore 64? I don't think it did. I don't know, maybe RSG would know about that. But I thought like Snow Bros ended up just being 16 bit only. Wasn't there a bit of faff about it coming out on the Amiga in the original originally as well? Oh I don't know. Watch out they may randomly jump up on you. I don't know. This, uh, I mean, it's really nicely done game. This one, but I, I just find it's it's it, it, it's not exciting enough for me. This one never even came out on the Amiga. Oh, right. It was released in two thousand and five on the Amiga. Was that was that a homebrew conversion, or did someone find like the developer discs or something like that? Was it ever in development? Oh, I. 
I screwed up there big time. Them. There you go. Look, code in the nineties. So it was these sixteen-bit home computers versions that were that were in development and were never released. It probably means there wasn't any. Oh my god! Sorry. Is that game over? Oh man. Right. Okay. That was cool, though, Magica. It probably means there wasn't any 8-bit versions considered then. Yeah, that's that starting to ring more bells, OSG. Uh, it says, no, it's the ocean finished the game. Uh, was The uh, finished game was made, and they chose not to release it. That's mad ocean didn't do that. I, I, I seem to remember that story now. wonder why they never released it. Um, so what scores would we give um, Magicka there? I think... I want to give it an 8 out of 10, but I never... I love I love uh, Redrax's work. I think it's an excellently programmed, really polished game. There's no faults or bugs. Everything looks and moves and sounds great, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Just the... I just find that Bubble Bubble gameplay a bit tired. Uh, and, that, and that's overly simple. Uh, I mean, with Bubble Bobble, you had the bob, the bubbles. But then you could jump on the bubbles and, you know, spam the screen full of bubbles and stuff. This feels like a step back from Bubble Bobble. However, it's a really competently made game. And I really like it. Uh, so I'm going to give it probably like a 7.5 out of 10, maybe. Maybe an 8. I don't know. It's just that it's maybe not my cup of tea. But, um... You might have heard that story to one of your your videos. I might have done RSG. And the Mega version of Parasol Stars has leaked an, an unofficial version. Ooh. Is that another one that didn't make it out? Blimey. Okay. Um, that was for Andrea. And Greg McGregor. Hopefully he's still here. Um, requested some spitting image. Uh, I think we have done this not that long ago. Might have been a year and a half or something like that. I don't know. Hey, none of your beers. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, man. How you doing? But yeah, scores five. Oh, Paradise only gives it a five. Retro number seven. Matt, Matt Myers an eight. Uh, Craig an 11 out of 10. Wow. Oh, what's this? I was to seven, more to six and a half, Mike's DT and eight, and Spartan X is six and a half. Oh, Retro Bus is still in. What was yours? Tusker. We'll have a look at that. Why the ominous music? Within the next seven years, a world war uh, greater than all other wars will take place. A war so great. Oh, wait, I missed all that. Never mind. It's automatically moved on. What this game, Jez, bit, uh, spitting image. It feels fair. Oh, I can't remember when we did this. I think it was the end of last year, I think we played it. Oh, you have to choose which world leader you want to play as. Pope John Paul the, the what? I can't remember. Let's, let's pick his nose. Yeah. Uh, Ronald Reagan, Maggie Thatcher. Is that that's Mikhail Gorbachev? Um, oh. I can't remember uh, which one this guy is. Or oh, this guy. Is he the German Prime Minister? We've got the Queen there as well. I think it's a 1v1 fighting game, essentially. Hey, there you are, Greg. <laughs> Looks like the political zoo. 
So I don't know, I can't remember oh, who this guy is. Oh, is that Botha from South Africa? Oh, but I'm not sure who this guy is. Oh, is that the Ayatollah? Oh. To many, right. If that's how you pronounce it. Can you play as the Queen in this? One for joystick to get one. one sidekick. First one. Oh, is that how you? Oh, it's already chosen them. Okay. Uh, is it crashed? Oh, okay, so I, apparently I'm I'm Ronald Reagan fighting the Pope at the moment. So it's a. <laughs> the combat in this isn't great, I have to say. Did I win? I think I think I won. Why is he on that? <laughs> what? Why is Ronald Reagan uh, dressed as a clown? I'm not sure. No. There's a lot of spamming of the uh, moves over and over. Seems to be a tactic that wins a lot. Oh. If you're wondering why I keep going left, it's because it's fire and left or fire and back for this headbutt move. Oh! Oh, I've decked the Pope! Nice. Oh, I'm gonna do three. Is it three rounds? Sidekick there. I don't know how you. I don't know if you can control that sidekick in any way. Uh, am I am I doing anything wrong here, guys? I don't know if anyone knows the game well. Right, I've got him. Hey, OSG. Good night, dude. Take care, man. Have a good night and have a great weekend. Right, uh, take care, man. I'll speak to you soon, OSG. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's fight. Let's fight the Ayatollah with Maggie Thatcher as the sidekick. Yeah, I know. Roddy, Ronald Reagan was originally an actor. Yeah, he was quite a crap one, I think, wasn't he? Um, is the Queen M Bison here? <laughs> Who knows? Oh god, I'm, f I'm playing as Maggie. Oh no. Oh my god, I got absolutely destroyed there. What's Maggie's special move? She's spitting on him. Oh, Maggie got knocked the funk out.
This is not a good beat em up. If it wasn't for the spitting image license and the ridiculous characters, I don't think we'd like this one. But yeah, the game is pure silliness. Oh, he's got a he's got a beard attack. Uh, and Maggie's hair is a wig, right? Okay. Hang on, what's the psychic doing there? Hang on, look at that. I I I, I completely missed that. He's dropping his kegs and farting out flames on us or something. <laughs> okay. Select your opponent. How do we change the character we're playing as? Like... Select your... Champion. Oh! Okay. Uh, let's play as Gorbachev then, quickly. Oh my god, do you want Viz next? I oh, know Retro Nim hasn't had his request. I'll have a quick look at this. Um... Oh, the Pope's got a rock guitar. Uh, I was wondering what it was, what that was. And Gorbachev uses a yo-yo as his special weapon. What? I think Reagan with his extending head and long range attack is probably the best so far we've seen. Alright then. Okay, for Retro and Liam, we'll get this up quickly. Seeing that, that follows quite nicely from um, <laughs> Spitted Image. There you go. I don't know what to rate um, spitting image there. Um, let's put some music on quickly. It's a bit of a poor... It, it's a bit of a crap beat em up really. Oh, sorry, not beat em up. 1v1 fighter. Uh, if it wasn't for the license and the daft characters, we wouldn't be rating that very highly, would we? So, uh, I don't know. I'll give you a 7 out of 10. If anybody wants to give us scores for that one, go for it. I, we did have a new spitted image last year. Yes, we did. I haven't watched it yet, though. Right. Right, okay. Um, score's coming in six and a half, a nine, and a five. Uh, 7 out of 10 from Retro Millennium, 5 from Maud, and Greg gives it a 10 out of 10. He's a big fan. Fair play, fair play, man. Um, okay, so look at Viz then. And guys, if you haven't already, if you wouldn't mind giving us a like and a thumbs up on the video, I'd very, very much appreciate it. Uh, 5 out of 10 from Mike and Texia 4. It's amusing initially, it becomes dull very quickly. Fair enough, yeah, yeah. It's, um, what do you call it? I would say it's a game that's kind of, um, not a throwaway thing. What's the word I'm looking for? A novelty. That's it. It's a no, it's kind of a novelty purchase. You'll get a laugh for, uh, 10 minutes or so, especially with a mate as well, but then you'd, you'd get pretty bored. It's like, it's a novelty purchase, if you know what I mean. Choose your player. Uh, see, I don't know Viz that well. Um, isn't he? Isn't he? I think he's Johnny Fart Pants. Uh, that's Buster Gonads. Yes, that's a giant pair of testicles. That's uh, family friendly. Uh, what's this guy's name? Biff or something like that? Uh, gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimmick. That's right, Yuri. Hey, Pavlovich. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Retro and Liam, mind the swears, dude. For God's sakes. Um. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, 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 oh! Hang on, I just, I've, I've act, act, oh god, I accidentally banned you, um, retro and lib. <laughs> Oops, I was trying to remove the message. Never mind. <laughs> but you're back. You should be back, retro and lib. That's all right. It's all right. No worries. Hey, Jogstrad, how you doing, mate? Um, is it, is his name Biffa? Biffa Bacon, Johnny Fart Pants Buster going up. I was close. I was close. I was close. There you go. Um, he's polishing his nuts. <laughs> All right, we'll be Buster Gonad because it looks funny. Insert side two. I think I've only got one disc here. Uh oh. Oh no no no. Okay okay. I do have two discs. Bear, bear with bear with guys. Oh dear. Um, let me get. I think I've got a cracked version of the game. Let me get the uh, official dump then quickly. All this for bloody Viz, the computer game. Uh, H Y O. And I've got two discs to download, so bear with me. <laughs> Accidentally banned. Yeah. <laughs> I was only just going to delete that one message. Oops. Never mind. Sorry, retro limb. But you were you were a naughty boy. <laughs> I don't think the swearing in this taxi. I think it's just pushing the boundaries of decency, as they would say back in the day. This one, <laughs> but thanks for the heads up. Who knows? We might have, we might have uh, a naughty word in this too. How's things, Chris, Mister Jockstrad? Uh, popping on for Betty buys. No worries, dude. No worries. I hope, I hope your week's been good, dude. Turn disc over. Right. Let's get the second side in. Oh, we got music. I'd love to get hold of that uh, swearing version of Squeak. No one seems to have found it yet. Great. That's right, Sean. Yeah, How to Be I was out a lot earlier and was far, far more worse, yeah. Yeah, we didn't get music originally. So, a bad crack of the game. Oh, Jockstrad, I'm just waiting for the alert to come through. Hold on. I'll see if I can push that through. Chat, but Mr. Chris McGill right there. Let's see the bananas rain down. Thank you, Jockstrad. That's very kind of you, my friend. Thank you. Hey, Jockstrad, do you like my Alan Sugar T-shirt? For those of you that missed it earlier, I have. Yep. Yeah. Blibble Sam got me for that for my birthday. He's only just arrived though. <laughs> There you go. Enjoy the bananas, man. Right, we'll be Buster Gonads. Right, what the frick do we do here? Uh... Yes, that is a giant nut, hairy nut sack, dude. Four tokens. When passing the policeman in the street, don't act in a violent or irrational manner as you will get arrested. Well, that's a top that's a top Johnny Boy tip there. 
uh, if you managed to catch that in time before it moved on. Uh, I have no idea what that section was about there. Good morning and welcome. A uh, bit of bacon. Right, okay. Johnny Fart Pants. And Buster Gonad. It's a great pleasure to this. Stay in your lane, right, okay. <laughs> oh, that bonus level, I was supposed to wiggle the joystick left and right. Buster Gonad, he uses plump power, bouncing along astride his massive nuts. Alright, so if you tap the fire button, <coughs> uh, it, it will use a token that you can get for the bonus level, and he'll do a big bounce on his nuts to get some speed up. Or use Buster's special powers. Hold on the fire button for about a second, release it and press it again. And Buster carts his bollocks along in a wheelbarrow for extra speed. <laughs> oh god. Well that's actually a naughty word I've used there. Right. Right, okay, I'll give this another go. You could have at least shaved them for aerodynamics. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to take the bloody disc over. The disc changing's a bit annoying on this, actually. Uh, I'm sure this is fit fitted on one side of a disc. Right. All right, we'll try Buster Go now to go, because he's the funniest. Oh, I the browse crap shop still, never mind. Retro Limb with the 199. This game is sponsored by Manscaping. <laughs> Let me. Oh, I didn't set the, the sugar, Lord Sugars off for you there. Let the bananas rain down for Retro on Lim there. He's obsessed with Manscaping because, like, bloody Larry got sponsored by them, didn't he, at one point? 
they did a sponsored thing in one of Larry's videos. So it was like, it's just a bizarre, bizarre product placements and stuff in these. Um, now, the, the, the FC Den over there were giant testicles, giant hairy balls, yes. That was Roger Melly, the man on the telly that came in and started the race off. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Well, we've had swears in the game, so thank you. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to apologise again to Retro and Lib because I told him off for swearing, and I'm playing a game with swear words in. But hey, I'm sure um, YouTube won't um, won't uh, pick up on that. Hey, Jogstrad, good night, dude. Take care, man. <laughs> good night, man. Have a great weekend. We get a dancing sugar with big balls. <laughs> Good lord. Do you really want to see that? Oh, hang on. What's this one then? Um, hang on. Right. So, bonus level one. Uh, Buster gains power tokens by pancake flattening. Using his bulbous balls to flatten lumps of toe produced by a pancake machine. Just wiggle the joystick and Buster drops his plums. Make sure his pancake, and make, but make sure the pancake is flat or it doesn't count. But what? I don't understand how you do the wiggling here, but I'm going to get the arcade stick out for this one then. If we're going to have a bit of a joystick waggle. Right, here we go. Okay. Right. I got two tokens. I, d I don't get that one. Hey, what's this? If you have no bowl in which to em keep your new goldfish, simply place it in an empty cornflakes packet. That is a top tip. Better than Johnny Boys. Oh, another disc change again. Was it really worth it? <laughs> Yeah, Matt. Larry did it once in one of his videos, but he's not done it since, to be fair. Look, the music is quite good, though. I'll give it that. Yes, I'm now bouncing on my balls there. Some your balls to catch up. Oh no! I thought I was going around that then.
<laughs> Johnny Boy's tips often get me in trouble. <laughs> but bananas in the chat for Mike ZT. Where is Johnny Boy? Has he fallen asleep? Is he still here? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mike ZT, for the top tip there. <laughs> and Brian, a good, a good night, dude. Take care, man. Have a great... Oh, yeah, it's bank holiday weekend. I forgot it's bank holiday. Well, it makes much of a difference to us, really. Can't bloody go anywhere still. Take care, Brian. Have a great weekend, mate. See you soon, dude. And Walden, another top tip there. Mike, cheers, dude. Thank you very, very, very much there, mate. Right, I'm just trying to see how I'll do my special move. It ain't working. So, hold down the fire button for about a second, release it, and press it again, and Buster carts his balls in a, along in a wheelbarrow for extra speed. That's what I'm trying to pull off at the moment. Uh, you can't see Buster's banana. Uh, no. <laughs> Game over. What? Oh, I must have hit that. I, I hit a bush. My balls encountered a bush. <laughs> well, there you go. It's actually not badly made, but it's okay, isn't it? Um, I'll tell you. Oh, hang on. We could have a look at the other character quickly. Oh, if it wasn't for the disc changing all the little time. Uh, what? Let's look at Johnny Fart Pants. Gonna wiggle the joystick. <laughs> His fart power is making him take off. Oh! I got eight tokens. Are you still here, Johnny Boy? We woke him up. Hey, we got a top tip. Let's see if it's better than Johnny Boy's top tip. Are you bored with computer games? Go and buy several more Virgin, and you'll have a great laugh. Uh, that's not a great top tip. I prefer, I prefer Johnny Boy's there. Uh, turn disc uh, again. Press space. Let's pause it there. Johnny Fart Pants. Uh, uh, probably the most of, uh, notorious of his character. Well, Johnny, Johnny owes his success to a windy bottom. Indeed, his pumping... I'm reading the manual here. Pumping pranks have become legend, while his underpants have become brown and dirty. Anyway, with his diet of pickled eggs, Johnny will try to win the race using chuff power. <laughs> Hold down the fire button for about one second release and press again to unleash Johnny's superpower, a massive curry-induced mega pump. <laughs> press fire once and Johnny releases a bottom burp which propels him forward over obstacles. Right. Okay. Hey, my chicken not raw. Good evening. Welcome, dude. And uh, this is a uh, biz based on the uh, comics. Oh no! I got knocked to the floor already. I lost one of me one lives. There's my fart power. I just farted on him. Oh, he knocked me off! Son of a bitch! Game over. Alright. Right, we'll leave Biz there. 
Yeah, Retro and Lim request it. What a surprise. No surprise there. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, Batman, are you still here, Batman? We've got yours to have a look at as well. Retro Bust as well. Are you still here? Let me know. Uh, Mother Chucker and Jason Grant as well. Let me know if you're still here. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to have a quick break for 30 seconds. Uh, well, for a minute. Uh, give me eyes a rest. And uh, we've got another hour and 10 minutes of the stream anyway ahead of us. So, um, oh, Batman, you're still here. Cool, cool, cool. I'll put that in a new list. And Retro Bust is here as well. So that's the we'll do your your two games first. But, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I can draw a line in the sand there. And if you want to post your requests, and you've got new requests, we have some new people join. Like my chicken not raw. Hello, my dude again. And anyone else that's not had a request, please, uh, if you got one, post it there. And I'll be back with you guys in like one minute, okay? All right? I'll see you back here and I'll see what the requests have come in. <laughs> right, one sec. I'll put the music up a little bit. Alright, be, be back with you in one minute, guys. Hey guys, I'm back with you now. Cheers. Thank you for sticking with us. Let's have a look. Um, we've got a new request coming. Oh, Neil, yes. Gunboat. Um, oh, Robin. Hey, Solar Coaster. I did do a long play uh, video for that uh, last year, actually. Um... Um, so it has been because it got featured on an AM stream. I'll write it down, but um, we have uh, yeah, maybe, maybe on that one.
Oh, Glider Rider. Yeah, we had that a few weeks ago, actually, yeah, by Chicken. <laughs> Good music. Very, very difficult game. Um, oh, welcome back to TP, <laughs> the tall pool. I just had to break myself there quickly. Um, are you Miss Viz and uh, Spitting Image? <laughs> Uh, I remember only Sea Base Delta as well, my chicken, but it, it was a text adventure, wasn't it? Uh, T Tor uh, TP would like Ikari Warriors. I mean, it's been featured a lot. Not for a while, though. I was thinking of trying to do a live long play of it sometime. I might have a little practice of it at the end of the stream or something like that. Okay, so... Um... Batman has been waiting for Joe Blades Free. What? Oh, why is that? Why is it not loading automatically? There we go. Why part three specifically? Nice loading screen. Nightmare. My chicken, have a look at my YouTube channel. This year, I did a long play of Nightmare. Go and have a check out that. Um, maybe, go watch that tomorrow <laughs> or something. <laughs> the best version, all the games are quite similar. Uh, my CC never understood what the Joe Blade games are about. Music's okay. So I think we've got to collect lots of objects by the looks of it. Keys, grenades, dynamite, discs. God knows what that is. It looks like a doll or something. Or is it prisoners? And a plunger for exploding dynamite. Oh, okay. We've got a machine gun. Yeet. But yeah, it's a specky port, isn't it? Maybe. Uh, so, oh. Right, there's a key. So, is it a bit of a maze? Uh, and there's a puzzling elements involved in this then. Caution fog zone. All right, all right, down to move between doors, okay. Oh, three keys, cool. Anything in the bin? And what was that there, sorry. Uh, first, uh, hang on, sorry. First objective is to rescue the six sausages. Go find the elevator, right. At least it's a specky port with some speed, says Sean. And Lynx 48K says it's very pink. It is very pink, yes. There's also an unofficial fourth game called Prison Riot. Oh, I remember that. I might have owned Prison Riot, actually. Oh, elevator? Oh, found the elevator. Uh, lower ground floor. Oh my goodness, there's five, oh my god, five floors. Eight floors in total. Alright, let's go lower ground floor then. wonder where we get ammo from. Oh, I think I used a key to get in that door. 
And then we got a key back. Okay, lovely. Oh, cool. Another key. Nice. Can we jump over these guys? Oh, we lose energy. Right, okay. Oh, okay. Use the key. Uh, and then gain the key. Oh, okay, it's got a floppy disk. Okay, I don't know what that's used for. Oh! Oh, I'm nearly dead! Oh, man, I need... Uh, how do I get health? Oh. dead Super Mario on a killing spree <laughs> my chicky would like some IK plus all right I'll add it onto the list it's always good for a laugh Joe Blaine looks like a plumber <laughs> I'm just going to have a look on CPC Power, see if there's a map for the game. Oh, there is. Let's have a look. Map. Holy poop. Oh my god, there's 26, 28 floors in the game. Plus, ground floor, lower ground floor and basement level. Whoa. How do I zoom out of this? Hang on. a lot of game. There's a swastika shape level. It does look like a, a bit like one. A bit like one. No, I don't think they're going for that there though. Right, okay, okay. I think this is going to be a bit too long to get into. <laughs> we better move on because I've only got like uh, 50 minutes left tonight. But yeah, let's try play for it. I think that's alright for a budget game. I could never get into them myself because I thought they were, t as I suspected, they're too big. Too <laughs> and you're going to have to be mapping out all the time. Uh, so let's have a look at um, Retro or Bust uh, uh, <laughs> request, which was Tusker. Okay, that's not working. I think it was meant. It's not a proper swastika that made that. It's halfway towards being one. But, um. Oh. And is it a bar CPM? Oh! Oh dear. Uh, something that doesn't like that Tusker. Right, let me uh, download the proper disc for it then. Sorry, guys. Uh, right, Tusker. Right, here we go. Oh, this has got warnings. There's a bug. Oh no. Hang on. Original bug at the end of the game. The scrolling of the message is not displayed correctly. Oh, let's download the fixed version of the game. Right. 
before the end again been good so far thank you tall paul cheers matey thank you for the two quid there i'll get a nice budget game with that one mate thank you very 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 much mate much appreciated so i'm just quickly downloading this disc uh for tusca um the request is tusca for retro or bust uh, uh but hey richard how you doing man there you go. Let the bananas rain down for tall Paul. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired as well. But I'm having a good time. I like hanging with you guys. Right, hopefully, hopefully this one will work. Right. <laughs> Thank you, tall Paul. Oh, music, let me pause my bright white screen. Yikes. Ooh, excuse me. Mm, I'll quick listen to the music. Where's my drink gone? Hang on. It's supposed to be like an Indiana Jones type adventure, but if Indiana Jones was in last, the last Ninja games. Oh yeah, get myself a copy of Frost. Yes. Love a bit of Frost. It's a bit lazy having not a proper loading screen, but like the company's logo as a loading screen. Let's see. Oh, okay, we got that. And I can tell straight away it's a it's a it's a lazy specky port. What? I just press one for joystick and we get this horrible Oh let's move oh god. Get ready to lay the first level. The desert. Okay. So we got fire and right does that. Fire and up does a punch there. Fire and down's a kick. Fire, fire down and an arrow uh, forward. There's that. Fire and uh, okay. Okay, right, right, right. Can, can we jump? No, we can't. Uh, uh oh oh. Oh, I kicked him. He turned into a skeleton and disintegrated. Yikes. So, uh, yeah. It's Yellow Belly the game. <laughs> Is that an item here? Oh, it's a fl it was a flask. Okay, right. Uh, let's put some music on. Got stuck on a rock there, lovely. Ah, oh, it's by the same guys who did Vendetta, that was That explains a lot. This feels very much like Vendetta if anyone's played that. Right, I've got a flask thingy. Oh, is this an entrance to a cave? That's a bit easier on the eyes. Over here. Oh, it's a crocodile. Right, okay. You probably don't want to go that way. Actually, this yellow is right. Kind of hurting my eyes a bit. I'm getting a bit of... 
vision weirdness at the moment. Maybe I'll turn the brightness down on my monitor. Oh man, actually, hang on. Am I getting a bloody migraine coming on? Do you know what? Funny enough, last time... If this is a my... Oh no, I might be getting an ocular migraine coming on, guys. Just give me a second, because I need... Oh man... Oh, dudes. I think I might be getting an ocular migraine coming on. It's so weird because we've got a bright yellow game. The last time this happened on a, on a, on a live stream, if this is what it is, uh, it was when we were playing Death Kick, and that was like bright yellow. The yellow light that sets it off. Bloody hell, I don't know. Um, yeah, I've definitely got something in my vision. Oh man! Do you know what? I'm not gonna take the risk. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some uh, one of my meds for this. Sorry, guys. So if you, you don't, if you don't know, I suffer from ocular migraines, and they got really bad recently. Uh, it's just where you get like your vision goes all blurry and weird, and you get flashing lights and zigzags in your vision. Lasts about half an hour. And then you get an awful, awful migraine. I'm going to take some aspirin as well. It won't hurt to take it. Uh, I haven't got enough of the... Oh, man. I need to get some aspirin from the uh, kitchen. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about this. I'm just going to turn my main light off here. <sighs> yeah, sorry about this, guys. I know this is a bit awkward and stuff. It might not be one coming on, but I'm not going to take the risk. So I'm just going to take, a, take some aspirin. Won't hurt to take it. Weirdly, I think it's. I think it's gone away. That's odd. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Hang on. Sort of come back a bit there. Oh man, it drives me insane. definitely something in my vision weird but it's not it's not like it normally is yeah tell you what guys let me just take a break away from the screen just for a minute or two and i'll come right back all right i'll let you know if i'm uh, ending the stream or carrying on i was going to go on to like two so sorry this is a bit i know this is a bit awkward sorry about that guys I'll have, I'll have a break and just go and step outside in the darkness for a bit, okay? And I'll come back, I'll, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes, alright?
Hey guys, uh, I'm back. Um, sorry. So yeah, um, I'll, I'll just turn that game off. That helps actually just going outside for a minute. So if those of you that, uh, so, hey, uh, Demanta, um, I was thinking. Uh, sorry, for those of you, any, any of you that just joined in, um, I thought I might be having an ocular migraine attack coming on, uh, which could be triggered by bright lights and stuff like that, um, and all sorts of other things. Um, it's not come on it was it, it, it was like the ocular migraine was trying to force its way through uh, but hasn't come through so all a bit odd there so if you don't just to, just to clarify when I get an ocular migraine I get like the vision goes blurry and I get like a flashing light always in my vision and it gets it expands bigger and bigger and bigger into like a C shape and that's for about half an hour and then I get a horrible headache. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna throw up and uh, really tired and stuff like that. Not always though; it can vary. But it's weird. It's like it was like I started seeing a bit of flashing lights in my vision, um, but it hasn't manifested yet. And that's so weird. I was playing a game with bright yellow background, and it was like I did. It didn't feel pleasant on my eyes. But actually, I don't think those graphics felt pleasant on anyone's eyes. Um, but it's weird because last time I had a mig ocular migraine on stream was when we played Death Kick, and that had a bright yellow background, and most most of the screen was bright yellow. But maybe it's something to do with like um, maybe it's something to do with that. Who knows? Who knows? I've tried to work out what triggers my migraines for, for like two years now. Um, it can be usually like a number of things. Um, so I'm, I'm just jabbering away here before I fire up another game and hurt, maybe hurt my eyes again. <laughs> but um, but yeah, the triggers can be weird things. I know a lot of people here suffer from them actually. Um, um, I'll actually have a few comments there. I'll read them. I'll read them in a second. Uh, like I know Anna Pocket Zero suffers from them, and quite a few other people. Um, so the trigger some could be like um, like food and uh, diet related. So like for about a year, I had no cheese, no chocolate, um, no caffeine. Caffeine's a big trigger for them. Uh, I haven't had caffeine for about two years now. Um, I do have a bit of cheese now. I've cut down on the. Uh, Aside to have a bit more chocolate, but I've cut down on it recently again. Um, what else? Uh, cheese, chocolate, caffeine. It's about five or six. It's about five or six main things. Uh, citrus, apparently. Uh, smoking, which I don't. Um, ooh. Can't remember what the other ones are, but I stopped all of them. Hey, Pete, how you doing, dude? <laughs> Oh, you'll be great on Yellow Belly stream, mate. You'll be great. You'll be fantastic. Um, but also blue lights, bright lights. I, I think like uh, monitors, uh, bright, bright monitors have damaged my eyes over the years anyway. Um, but it's all neurological. It's not really to do with the actual eye. It's for the processing of signals and it's like, you know, electrical signals in the brain and stuff. So it's like very similar to like epilepsy in a way because my uh, Mrs. Zypho, she suffers from epilepsy. And uh, so I've been helping her through that and trying to get on top of that for many years, which we kind of have, have done. But sometimes she'll have, she, there'll be signals and signs that a seizure is trying to break through on, in her. But it doesn't quite break through the seizure and it goes away. Um, in fact, it feels quite similar to what just happened to me there. It's a bit weird. But like uh, she'll get like a bit like uh, myoclonic jerks. It's where the body will just suddenly like, or an arm will just suddenly like jerk like that, and she'll feel a bit odd. And that's usually a sign. Oh, seizures coming on. Lay down. Let's get you rested and get. Let's get you safe and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that I, I had like a my warning signals like that just then, but it didn't. It hasn't broken through the, the ocular migraine. So maybe the meds I'm taking has, has kind of done its job, but. Who knows? Maybe it was the yellow light there. Um, tiredness, yes, Demante. That uh, tiredness can be a factor in uh, uh, migraines generally, as well as ocular migraines. Um, 
stress. But yeah, stress, lack of sleep, and stuff like that. That's why I felt like I wanted to do a chilled stream tonight with a request night because my migraines got really bad recently. After going for about, I usually for about a year, I was having well, a lot of well, actually nearly a year and a half. It was every four to five months I'd have one, but recently I've had about five since like early March, which is really worrying for me. But, um, and my vision as well, generally, has been terrible. It's, it's kind of blurry and unfocused, so it's, it's made things quite difficult. But I, I, I don't, I don't want you guys to worry about me. I, I enjoy what I'm doing. So um, if I can't do it and I'm not feeling it, I won't do it. <laughs> so don't worry about stuff. So um, let me just catch up with the chat there. I'm gonna look at the screen now a bit and read the chat and see how my vision is. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you, Link. Says poor chat must be getting on a bit. Well, I just hit the big four zero. Actually, funny enough, I hit the big four zero and I start getting migraines. That's weird. Um, uh, <laughs> Smart next loves the background music. It's all the music you hear tonight. It's made by a very, very talented member of the community called, uh, he calls himself 24-7, or his name, real name is Rich. He, he used to be in the Amstreams every night. He's just had, he's, well, he's had, he, he had a baby about a year and a half ago, so he's on dad duties a lot now, so he can't come in the streams much now. So he has to get to bed early, but um, he may pop in again from time to time. Um... My mace with the bright pink followed by the really dark colour of Jubilee felt more painful to me. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but it was like, I think it's like a big, bold yellow or a big, bold, um, I don't know. Yellow seems to really do it for me at the moment then. I don't know. I don't know on that one. Um, right. They're getting old, me man. I am. I am. God damn it. <laughs> So I think you need to go see an optometrist is happening more often than before. I think it's necessary. Yeah, I've been to the opticians lots of times. Really, it's nothing to do with the actual eye. Um, I mean, I, I don't actually need these glasses. I can see perfectly fine without these. Um, these were mostly bought to help with screens. But also, there's a slight prism in there. Because one of my muscles in my eye overworks to like maintain focus, which could cause, which could potentially be causing a strain, which could cause a migraine. But um, I don't actually really need to wear these, although my eyes have got accustomed to these now. So when I do take them off, then now everything's even more blurry. But uh, but yeah, um, but I, I need to see a neurologist because it's a neurological condition, um, not a physiological. If that's the right word to use. So if I close my eyes every now and again, I'm just doing a test to see if I've got any uh, like uh, bright lights vision in my vision about to break through. No, I'm good. I'm good. Um... <laughs> okay. Greg, yes. When, I to when the doctor told me I had to stop all cheese, I, I was like, I could, I could have cried. <laughs> I have so uh, so much stuff. I try and cut down the amount of cheese I have, but a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the stuff I eat does often contain cheese, and I'll be like, no pizza for me. I'd, I'd cry or lasagna. Bloody hell. Um, when was your last eye test? Uh, summer last year, and things haven't changed much. So I need I need to get to a neurologist basically. I prob they'll probably prescribe you, I, 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 funny enough, with anti-epileptics. They're, they're often used to treat them, treat this condition or whatever. I believe it or not. I'm not looking forward to that though, because uh, I've seen Mrs. Ifo when she's been put on different, they've changed her anti-epileptics and the side effects can be quite nasty, can be quite nasty. So sorry if I'm looking a bit dark here now. I've turned off the. Uh, I have this like light with an umbrella to soften it, so I get lit up properly for the green screen. The green screen still works, but I'm quite now in dark in the shade. So apologies for that. So um, we're gonna tr we're gonna try again. 
Alright. Um, so... Neil really wanted to see Gunboat. So, let's, I, I've never played Gunboat before. I thought it might have been kind of a simulation type thing. And they don't really kind of interest me much. But um, we'll see what it's like. <laughs> Same here, uh, Retro Bust. <laughs> You're like a big mouse. Why cheese, isn't it strange? I, I don't know, Mike ZT. There's so little known, really known about uh, ocular migraines and stuff like that. Actually, the, pro the correct term is migraine with aura. Uh, but the NHS in the UK, uh, after do, I've been digging into this with a lot of support groups and stuff. The NHS in the UK, bless it, as much as I love it, is light years behind other countries like America in terms of research into these things. Um... They will often, um, the, the advice is often a bit misguided and wrong, and they, see the cause of um, what uh, what an ocular migraine is, is something called CSD, cortical spreading disorder, I think it is, I might have got the D wrong there, but CSD, cortical spreading disorder or something like that, and it describes, a, a, a something has triggered it, and it's, it describes a buildup of electrical activity around the body and the brain, uh, and it manifests it manifests itself in your vision eventually, uh, and then the obviously the headache and stuff like that. The NHS does if you say CSD to them, they'll just look at you blankly. Uh, any doc, uh, doc, the doctors and the neurologists I've been to, whereas America, you go there, they go right. You need to do this, that, that, and that, and that, and take this medication, and this, this will yeah. Whereas like the NHS is a backwards way of looking at it, and they're just years behind. I don't know why, maybe it's their fear of like American pharmaceutical companies or something like that. <laughs> Try to patch for your eye, might need a rest. It, it, it's not uh, physiological. Um, I mean, bright light, sunlight and stuff can be a trigger. Uh, and I think bright light is a trigger for me. Um, it's working out what your trigger is for these migraines. So, um, unless I sit here in sunglasses, <laughs> Which I've had to do in the past, actually, when it was at its worst, before I had any kind of treatment. Anyway, let's have a look here. So, OPQA, cannon space torpedo, uh, one torpedo missile charges. Right, okay. What the hell is this? Gunboat destroyed, zero bases destroyed. And that's it, game over. Holy poo. Whoa, that moves fast. A patch is a great solution to loads of headaches. I've never heard that, but... Um, Oh, look into it. I borrowed an eye from when I was young, and a patch really helped. Like a, 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 a pipe, like a proper eye patch over one eye. It's yellow. Turn it off. This is a bit sensitive. Ah! It's like it's on warp speed. Yeah, it's got a bit of yellow in it. Maybe I should move on from it. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly out of fuel. Good lord, that's a tough game. Why is it? Why is it so fast? I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm normally complaining about games being slow, but like Jesus, that's almost uncontrollable. Feel okay playing this game. I think I'll best move on because 
yellow. A lot of yellow there. But uh, just in case. Oh! Oh, Mr. Pete Walker. <laughs> Pete Walker with the 464. Through the super chat there. It says, great charity stream. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I understand the in-joke now about the charity stream thing and the and the alerts there. Poor Novabug. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pete Walker. Let's see the bananas in the chat there. The legend and the lovely bloke that is Pete Walker. Pete, you didn't have to do that, mate, but thank you, man. And you'll smash it on Yellow Belly stream. So, um, you know, you'll be great, mate. You'll be great. I, I hopefully, uh, I might not be able to watch actually live this Sunday because uh, it's bank holiday and we unfortunately got some plans for family and stuff. But I'll watch and catch up, Pete, and you'll be great. Still do a focus using both eyes that in one rest should ease it. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, but as I said, uh, it's more um, neurology, neuro, neuro, neurological uh, condition. Oh, oh man. I'll tell you what, my vision is actually really extra blurry. This kind of sucks. Um, so I'm going to do something with a black screen behind it. Robin had requested Solar Coaster earlier. I have done a long play of this on the channel uh, last year. This was a great discovery. This is a little hidden gem, this one. Try it. If you cover one eye, you can do it yourself. <laughs> um, I can't do it tonight. I don't, I don't have a patch that I, I could use. I suppose I could get like a bandana or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be right for now. Thank you, man. Thank you. Pete, was it you last night that gave me the 464 marbles? Oh, bless you, mate, because I was. I, I remember seeing uh, the um, in my stats this morning. I was thinking, who was that? Pete, was that you? I can't remember how that how that came through la yesterday. Hang on. Oh, did I did I miss your dono? Yes, did I actually miss your dono yesterday? If I did, Pete, I do apologise. But thank you for yesterday as well. GP said it was him. Oh, that that naughty GP took credit for it. <laughs> the little bugger. <laughs> Cheeky little fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Neil. Uh, sorry, uh, Pete. Thank you very, very much as well, man, for the 464 yesterday. Oh, you have this in your collection. Oh, mate. If you ever want to sell it, let me know. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, problem here, I need to just redefine my controls quickly. Um, oh, I remember this problem. Fire one, we'll do C. There we go. It's a cool little Galaxians meets Phoenix clone, this one. Quite a, it can be quite difficult. It's only a short game anyway, and it just loops forever. But I love the look of this one and the, the shooty the shooty sound effects. Oh, wreck. Oh, oh, nearly had him there. Nearly. Oh, if you get around here to the left, you can kill them as they come down here and get rid of all the birds and give you a free 
three shots at the uh, the creature inside the egg. So we're now you're gonna break through the shell here. Oh, I got wrecked there. A galactic plague on acid. It's a great little game, this one. Great little game. CBD oil, says Neil Simpson. That seems to be like the magic cure for everything at the moment. Uh, I know it's helped a lot of people I know. Uh, I know a friend of mine suffers from MS. Has, well, has MS. And that apparently has helped her quite a bit. Eat it, as I thought, eat it away the yolk there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you know what, Retro Nim? I, I probably need to take more regular breaks, especially when I'm doing like an AM stream that's quite long. So, sad to say. This is fine on my eyes, though. I might have to lower brightnesses down on monitors uh, as well for uh, Amstreams. The thing about the Amstrad is it has really bright, bold colours that really pop out. So I don't have this problem generally, like playing like more modern games or anything like that. Always seems to be an Amstrad stuff. Like that, that yellow that flashed up there just like actually made me go. Ugh. Oh, one more. He's gonna. Oh, bloody hell. But my brightness and contrast is down so low on the monitor at the moment, it's ridiculous. So, uh, going lower could be problematic. <laughs> I'll get it sorted eventually guys. You can you can fix this problem essentially. Ah, oh, wrecked there. We'll give it one more go. I just need to be able to get to see the neurologist. To get to the neurologist neurologist, I need to be re-referred by my doctor. But I spent the last three weeks trying to get a doctor's appointment and uh that just absolutely slammed. Every time I, I ring up, the guy, all the appointments are gone. Even if I ring on the dot, the surgery opens. I'm in queue, like position 20, and I can never get a doctor's appointment. And they don't use Ask My GP, so I'm kind of really stuck at the moment. No, I don't need a week off. Of course, cool. I'll be just going on monitor anyway, doing stuff, watching telly or something. Oh! The Manta Damned! Oh my god! The 10 euros! Through the super chat! Whoa! Oh, you can have loads of dancing sugars for that! Holy crap! The Manta! Thank you very, very, very much, guys! Could we go nuts with the bananas in the chat? Let them rain down for the Manta! Enjoy your bananas! Holy crap! Thank you, Demanta. Thank you very, 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 very much. <laughs> wow, thank you. That's very, very, very kind of you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Right. Did my, did my bananas work there in the chat? There you go. <laughs> Thank you everyone for all the bananas there. Good stuff. Uh, what game is this? I was busy looking for banana emojis. This is uh, excuse me, a game called Solar Coaster. Nice little budget game. Very, very rare and hard to find. Definitely a hidden gem, as uh, Robin says. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sort of like Phoenix and Galaxian. A few, a few uh, arcade games mixed in there. there. Um... Maybe showing your AM streams or something. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. 
mean, I, I probably could finish it at one instead of a two. I don't know. Is it an Amsoft game? No. Uh, I forget the name of the company. Um, Solar Coaster. It was made by Optics Software. They, they didn't do many games at all uh, on the Amstrad. Pretty sure this was... Yeah, the only other game they released on the Amstrad was a game called Pipe and Pete. Pipe and Pete was in 1986. This one's from 1987. And it's a great little game. Uh, the box art is pretty rubbish from what I remember. Oh, there it is. Hang on, I'll bring it up on screen for you. There's the box art. And I did, I did a featured video on this on my channel. We did a sort of a long play of the game. Uh, you can find it in my channel or something uh, around about September last year, I think. Yeah, it's a good little game, this one. Oh, bless you, Demanta. So this guy has entertained me for years. Oh, Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Hey, man, shovel. Good night, dude, as well. Take care, man. Will they go into lurk mode? <laughs> no worries, man. Man, shovel. You rock as always, my friend. Thank you very, very much for everything you do for me in there and my uh, community and channel there. Hi again, Neil. Welcome back to the Am stream, my friend. Uh, but take care, man, shovel. We'll see you again soon as well. Yeah, take care, Aaron. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I've got my controls wrong there. Oh no, I'm being swarmed. Holy slowdown. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I forgot. You can actually fly forward. I could have got me out of some scrapes there. Damn. There we go. Whoa! Rain of fire there. Just completely ted me in. Why did I move right there, right into the path of that one? Wrecked. <laughs> Our original says, Zygon deserves immense credit for what he does. He doesn't realise it. There's a huge community that cares for his well-being. The summer get wants to carry on to make me happy. <laughs> but the thing as well, uh, there is an element of truth in that. Like, like I want to please people, yeah. But also, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy hanging out with you guys. And... If I couldn't do that, I'd be bloody miserable. Um, not that I wouldn't want to spend time with like Mrs. Zypho, the extra time or something like that. I mean, she's she normally fast asleep though by about 10 o'clock, so, and I'm a night owl. But, um, you know, I, I don't get, a, like, more well, like everyone, but before lockdown, I wasn't going out to pubs anymore. A lot of my best friends are all got married and kids and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And they weren't going out to pubs and clubs anymore. And to be honest, it got a bit boring. Um, but, like, you're my human contact, aside from my family, guys. So, uh, yeah. But, um, maybe I do put a lot of work. I do. I'm, I stream five nights a week. I do the long play and review videos. I do the Patreon stuff. It's a lot. It is a lot. And I've spent hours uh, on what was going to be tonight's AM stream, which will probably be next week. So, um, yeah, a lot of work. Uh, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Oh, bless you guys. Anyway, that's very kind of you to say so. Uh, Brian says this is like Exerion. Is that an Amstrad game, Brian? I've not heard of that one. What's Exerion? Oh, is it not? Oh, is a coin up? Oh, right, 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 right. I'll have to check that out at some point. Yeah, 
The, the game is hurting your eyes, Neil. Actually, it's not mine. Not hurting mine, actually. <laughs> I'm doing all right with that. I could quite happily play this as a black background. Uh, this is called a solar coaster, Matt Myers. Solar coaster. Uh, I'll write it in the chat for you if you want to check it out. Um, oh, God damn it! I had it up in... I had the CPC Power page up a minute ago. I've lost it now. Solar coaster... I'll, I'll send you the link to it, Matt. Uh, there you go. Hey, Greg. Good night, dude. Have a great weekend. Take care, my friend. And uh, thanks for being awesome, man. And support, very supportive as well. Cheers, dude. Cheers. And good night, FC Denhard. Take care, man. Take care. <laughs> yeah, have a good one as well, man. All right, we'll give Solar Coaster just like a couple more goes. I might have to. I might call it after this. I don't know. Let's see if we can beat that damn um, space egg thing. Oh, that was close. You stand in the right place, you can hit them coming down. Yeah! Oh! No! There's a bit of slowdown when there's loads of these enemies on the screen. Oh no! Wrecked. Bloody hell. There's a bit of slowdown when all the birds spawn, there's a slowdown occurs, and you can use that to get there and start shooting at the centre of the egg to uh, crack the shell away. And then get around to shoot the birds afterwards. So use that to your advantage. That's my top tip there for that level. Arse! Oh, the only thing is, you move quite... The only problem with the game is, I think you move quite slowly left and right. If your ship could move a little bit faster, it would make the game a bit more fun. It's often you make a mistake and you're, you're stuck and there's no way of getting out of it. It's a bit frustrating. Oh, no! Last life. Yes! Hey, we did it. Now he's wrecked. <laughs> hey, Neil Simpson, take care as well. Good night, dude. And uh, thank you for the dodo well here as well, mate. You take care, man, as well. Have a great weekend. <laughs> and Barry, welcome back as well, mate. Star Fibers is a decent enough unofficial arcade port. <laughs> uh, I'll have to check that out at some point. There you go. Woohoo! Gee, geez. Do you know what, guys? I think because that's a, a, a little triumphant note there. Perhaps we should end on that. So I was going to do maybe IK Plus. So who who, who requested IK Plus earlier? My Chicken Not Raw. And uh, Tall Paul wanted Ikari Warriors, but I think Tall Paul went to bed, didn't he? I don't know. I can't remember. Um. Yeah, so sorry for not getting to those games, guys. Um, the Star Fibers is brilliant. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll have a quick look at that. Just to see what it looks like. Uh, let me put my fire button back. Right, right. Oh, Demante wants to escape from the planet of the robot monsters. Oh, I'm sure I could do that quickly. 
Yeah, we'll do a couple more games and then we'll finish at two, okay? Yeah, James T. Kirk at the high schools there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me remember this one if I can remember this one. On fire. Oh, this looks cute. Uh, I don't think I wanted to take off there. What was that? Is that a special move you could do one, once per level or something? Oh! M oh, Maud with the two pounds. Thank you, Maud. Ah, bananas in the chat the, for the magnificent Maud. Let the bananas rain down for Maud. Thank you, Maud. That's very, very kind of you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're still here, Tall Paul. Sorry, matey. Sorry, matey. Uh, I might not have a chance to get to it now. Sorry, dude. Um, hey. <laughs> there we go. Let's see some more bananas in the chat for Maud there. Thank you very, very, very much, Maud. Let the bananas rain down for Maud. Ice of Shield, you get one per life. God damn it, I wasted it then, Barry, haven't I? <laughs> and thank you for the GG's there. Oh, the headbang will be too bright on my eyes, I think. I don't want to risk that one either. <laughs> Up to what? One per life. You kill everything in your path. Great little special move. And it was a shield, right. So I wasted it. Came from behind. This is not a bad wee little shooter. This very competently done. The fart is that thing. Oh no! I used my shield early! Ah, oh, I missed the bite there. Oh, Johnny Boy, you on the Snacksters tonight, not Rustlers. that thing I still don't know oh 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 Lord Rusburgu that's your second dodo tonight as well Rusburgu holy crap with the twenty dollars Whoa, Lord Rusburgu. Oh, mate, you didn't have to, man. Especially as, like, you're a patron as well. It says, have a wonderful weekend, my lord. Thanks for the stream. Oh, good night, Rusburgu. And thank you, man. You have an awesome weekend. Let the bananas rain down for Lord Rusburgu there. Holy poop. Thank, thank you, uh, Rusburgu. I don't know what to say, man. Thank you. In this cry phone. <laughs> oh, cheers, Rasburgu. Wow, thank you, mate. You take care, man. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done, Lord Rasburgu. Right, uh, okay. Uh, for Demante, just before we finish, then, we've got just enough time to have a quick look at Escape from the Planet of Robot Monsters for uh, Demante. A bit of music here. He is, he, Rasburgu is super cool. He is indeed. 
Uh, Lynx uh, asks, what was the blast up game Paul Shirley did the Super Smooth Full Screen Scrolling? Uh, Mission Genocide, or ZTB. Is that the beat? Yeah, yeah, you'll find out. But it's, it's commonly known as a Mission Genocide. That was the uh, box title. Great game except you can't fall off the edge. Yeah, you can dangle off there and then get pulled back up again. In Escape from Planet the Robot Monsters, that's right, Retro Men. That's right, Retro Nims, at the bar stewards. <laughs> nice loading screen. That's the only music you can get there. It gets just uh, on that title screen. That's it. It's all right. To transport all the uh, missions, transport all the hostages back to your ship, find and destroy all robots. Oh, oh I accidentally used a bomb there and I frazzled one of the uh, hostages. I'll rescue her now. Oh, I need to change my controls here. One second, guys. Uh, same problem. My fire button is clashing with a keyboard control. So it, the controls are kind of kind of what you'd call tank controls. It's left and right to rotate around on the spot, which can take some getting used to. I would strongly recommend playing this on a joystick, uh, sorry, on a keyboard rather than joystick for more precise movement. Uh, activate the switch there to turn on the lift, sorry, the escalator, my apologies. Oh, I got hit there. My power's quite low. Some energy there. You got a power bar at the bottom. You get power from destroying uh, robots and then picking up the green things that are left behind. Oh. Okay, uh, are there any more over here? Yep. Yeah. The power's up a little bit. Go. Oh, you can fall off the edge, but you can climb back on again. Oh my goodness! Oh, Brian! Brian, cheers, dude! With the five euros! Holy crap, dude! Always enjoyable. Thanks for keeping this going, says Brian. Oh, bless you, Brian. Thank you very, very much, mate. Bananas in the chat there for Brian. Let the bananas rain down. Enjoy the dancing Lord Shuggers there. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Uh, some bananas from me as well. Cheers, dude. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm getting maybe on the edge of being a bit emotional, but... Uh... <laughs> uh, Matt, this was Demante's request. Demanta. Um, hey, do you know what? My vision's suddenly a lot, uh, been a lot better. I don't know, maybe I'll continue on a little bit longer. Your arcade port was uh, your jam back in the day. So did you, you love this on the Amstrad, did you, Demanta? Have to run. You can't destroy these silver balls. Oh, God damn it, a robot spawned on me there. But uh, thank you so much again, Brian. That's really awesome of you. And cheers, Raspergu and Demanta as well. Oh no, falling off. You can blow up in those crates. We've got some energy back there. It's a not bad port of the game. It's a shame that he doesn't scroll. But never mind. I uh, thank you guys for all the bananas there. Ah, 
Game controls, awkward. Oh, damn it. Uh, I think they're bombs to pick up. Oh, I'm, I just killed myself there. Get out of the way. Oh, no. Unfortunately, uh, uh, pressing down doesn't uh, reverse you, make you walk backwards or anything like that. Uh, it drops a bomb, which is awkward, because you need like a second fire button. Of course, most joysticks back in the day oh, only had one fire button. Or at least, coders assumed that only one fire button would work. Oh my... Oh, oh no! Use another credit there. Oh my god, that ball hit that robot there and then bounced back into me. How annoying. Hit the switch there on the escalator. Now, I have done a long plane review of this. I think I did one last year actually. Uh-oh, I shot one of the girls there. Okay, you just need to touch them to free them. There you go, there's the exit to the level. <laughs> right, phone returns. No, not tonight, not tonight. I'll be good, I'll be good. Um... Would be cool if you could fall off. Ah, that's alright. That's not something I miss. At least you fall off the edge and then you dangle on for dear life there. It's quite that's a nice touch. It's a decent well programmed port, definitely. Definitely. I like this a lot. So yeah, we did a long play review of this on my channel last year, I think it was. So go on check that out if you haven't seen it. Oh yeah, your power level for your weapon slowly drains down. Here's a boss. Unfortunately, it's pretty easy. I think you just need to stand here and he can't hit you. But, but you can hit him. Oh my god! Demanta again? Oh, Demanta, oh, bless, oh no, you didn't have to do that. Oh, oh, I, uh, the, uh, oh, these didn't get triggered, hang on. <laughs> oh my god, Demanta, thank you for another 10 euros. Are you, are you, are you sure? Uh, Lynx 48k, thank you. Good night. Uh, have a great weekend. Sorry. Um, just want to say bye just in case I didn't want to miss you there. Demanta, thank you. Oh, bananas in the chat for Demanta. Holy crap. Thank you very, very, very much, Demanta. That is so kind of you. Um, as long as you're sure, because <laughs> I can always refund you. But, um,. Thank you, Demanta. That's very, very, very kind of you. Cheers. I appreciate that. I really do. I really, really do. Thank you. I don't know how to say thank you back. I mean, apart from uh, doing your request here. <laughs> but uh, let the bananas rain down in the chat for Demanta one more time tonight. There you go. I'll put some in myself there. Oh, actually, I died to this boss. Normally doesn't hit you. Rainer as well, as well as Lynx. Good night. Uh, take care. Uh, I hope you feel okay from the uh, the vaccine shot. Hope it's not too bad for you. 
and uh, try and have an awesome weekend. Oh, I thought it had died. Oh, this boss takes ages. Unfortunately, it's the same boss every time with the same pattern at the end of every level, which is a bit disappointing. Other than that, it's pretty good. Just die already, bloody but bloody thing. That looks like about the optimum place there. to release the uh, hostages. There you go. Make sure we're all collected up. And boom. Oh yeah, this, this uh, uh, port is missing. There's a, a bonus level in the arcade uh, where you fly like this spaceship down these tunnels. Um, uh, that That's missing on this version, but that's that, uh, that you can see why because it's obviously 8-bit computer and stuff like that. But um, there you go. Oh, it says thank you for the game. It means a lot. Oh, bless you. Thank you, um, Demanta again. Um, bless you. I tell you what. I tell you what. We'll do about one last bonus game tonight. I, I, I am going to move on from uh, that. Uh, to, to play Tall Paul's request. He's been a good guy as well. He's been waiting patiently as well. I should have finished 10 minutes ago, so we're going to have a quick blast of IK Plus for Tall Paul before we finish tonight. And uh, then I'm going to call it. Oh, music. A bit quiet. I'll pump the volume up a touch. You wanted the quick IK Plus. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> and good night, Rena. Demanta, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. And uh, if you haven't seen it, remember to check out the, uh, excuse me, uh, long plane review video of that. I think that gun sound is driving me crazy, Zypho. Sorry. Yeah, it kind of is TP. Ah, uh, right, the shooty noise. Okay, well, we're, we're, yeah. Well, we moved on now anyway, so yeah. Uh, all good for years of good fun. Oh, thank you, Demanta. Thank you very, very much. It's very kind of you to say so. I can't remember the controls. Roughly. Oh! So remember, I'm in the white. Oh, I didn't want that one. Eh, uh, oh, one more. Got it. You can see my. Uh, I'm the white guy. Got the white blobs at the top of the screen. That's how many hits you've got to fill up. So, Paul, I thought you asked for IK Plus. In my notes, I've got IK Plus for you. Is my chicken not raw? That asks for IK plus. Oh, because I carry IK at the start there as well. Oh. Oops, 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 oops. Alright. Uh, the only thing about Ikari worries is I'll probably end up playing it for a long bloody time and I need to get to bed. <laughs> I'll let the balls just hit me there because the bonus rounds bore me to tears. Bouncing balls around. Second place. Do I get? I think I scrape through. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, freaking love this game. White stays in. <laughs> Next time we'll be fine. I don't know. I'll buy fire up. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a little bit, tiny bit longer. Yeah, that's why I got confused. Probably teed up because Ikari starts with IK as well. Uh, My Chicken Not Raw definitely did request IK plus. That was on the list to do. It's literally next to uh, Tall Paul's request. That's that's also why. Oh, I should have done the punch. Blue wins, white stays in, come on red. So as long as you don't come third in the round, you're all right, you move on. This is an absolute classic, of course. Both of them out. And the double kick wins there. There you go. Haha, <laughs> tall ball. <laughs> so if I'll be the nagging woman tonight. Bed. Alright, don't tell Mrs. Zypher about this. For all she knows, I've, I've pro uh, as usual, I finished before 2 a.m. Matt is requested surprise, surprise for next stream. Dude, I'm, I don't think I'll ever be playing that game again. Even though I have a strange liking for it now. <gasps> Red? What's Red doing? Have that. Back at you. Whoa. <gasps> Blue's back in it. Straight through there. There we go. I've never done Sam Fox though. No, I don't want to get a band on YouTube, dude. This looks better than the C64 version. Mmm, I don't know on that mic. I... The mic, the Commodore 64 version has a lot more going on in the background, graphics-wise as well. Uh... If you said that in the presence of old-style gaming, he would, he would have got very upset at you. <laughs> God, I'm smashing it. Also, I think the mu as good as the music is here, I think the Sid Chip version does sound better. Not by much. I'm going to be out this round. Oh, no. I got knocked out. White is out. There you go. Not bad. Not green belt without doing any of the bonus rounds. Alright then, I'll quickly, quickly fire up Ikari. Very quickly. Uh, this is for Tall Paul. Because he's a dude. Uh, Johnny boy, ahoy. I'm off to bed, buddy. Thanks for the stream as always. Have a great weekend. Night, night all. And have a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny boy, for being an awesome, awesome supporter of me. And just all round awesome dude. Johnny, take care, man. you setting sail on the high seas. Take care, man. Have a great weekend. But I, lo I love I love IK Plus there. That was wicked. Oh, don't forget there'll be an after party in my Discord in the in the chat. If, anyone, if anyone's still uh, wide awake and stuff. You think the colours look better? 
maybe I'll agree with the colours looking better on the Amstrad version, but it does look gorgeous on the Commodore 64. And there's a lot more going on in the background. There's like animated stuff happening. I think the spider comes down. Bit of fish jump out the water. Um, and as long as I think you can... No, I don't think the Commodore 64 has the pants down move. Right, on the Amiga version, you can press a certain key, a certain combination of keys, and all the fighters drop their trousers. <laughs> and look embarrassed. I'm not sure if you can on the Commodore 64 version or not. That is a dreadful loading screen, but the music's alright. Anyway, uh, joystick. That's what I thought. Okay. Right, uh, one. There, that'll do. Uh, what play again? Here we go. Quick blast on Ikari Warriors to finish off the screen tonight. What I love about this is there's, there's a toggle key. So, up, down, left, right, look, the characters move around and face in any direction. The same, you press toggle, you press the toggle key and you'll stay facing that direction like that. That's cool, that's a nice touch. Because the arcade version had what's called a rotary joystick. You could twist around to change the direction that your player was facing. So I've just enabled toggle here. Turn it off. But this is a brilliant arcade conversion. Coming, you know I could play this for hours. I, I, I'm going to put the, give myself a limit of no more than five minutes. Oh god, I'm actually getting wrecked here anyway. Love the big explosions and all that. Great little game this. Badly. Yeah, I would say this is the best 8-bit version as well. There may be some argument with the uh, European version of the Commodore 64 running it close. Because uh, that doesn't look as good. I don't think it plays as good as this. Uh, but it does move a bit faster. But this is nice and smooth. Oh, I love getting in tanks. Especially if you get the tank and keep it to this bridge and just run over like hundreds of soldiers. Oh, that was a smart bomb I picked up there, I think. Uh, I think it's a letter K on it. It was a rotary joystick uh, in the arcade for this. I don't know if they ever made a rollerball version, but I, I can't see that working. Awesome stuff. Yeah, 
SNK made Ikari Warriors, yes. That might hit me. Oh no, we're good. We're good. No, that might hit as well. but very quickly there. Oh good, got my tank. I, I think we have to abandon the tank here anyway. Oh no, I got shot. Arse. I've only got two lives left. Oh, they all came running at me there. I got my last life. Oh no! Oh no! I got wrecked really quickly and early in that. I'd normally get way further in that than uh, uh, in Ikari Warriors in that. But never mind. Never mind. Um, but there you go. <laughs> Was Future really good on the arcade? Never played it. Uh, it got slagged off uh, at the time. I mean, the conversion of it to the Amazon, which is like the, the, the unofficial sequel to Ikari Warriors, is very good because basically we reuse a lot of this, the, almost the entirety of the same codes and some of the same similar sprites as well. But, oh well. Um, but yeah, let's have a look then. Um, let's roll the credits for tonight. I think I'm probably going to have to call it there. There you go, that's working. Thank you very, very much for the donos from Sir Yellow, Yellow Belly, excuse me there, Maud, GP's Cousin Bob, Craig Wilson, Chiefy, Lord Raspergu, Aaron Phillips, Man Shovel, Retro on Limb, Neil Simpson, Jockstrad, Mike ZT, Tall Paul, Pete Walker, Demanta, especially, and Brian as well there. Thank you guys for your very, very kind donos tonight. Um, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up on the uh, video on the stream before you leave tonight. Um, I don't really want to send you over to in, like a raid or anything because like literally no one I know is streaming as late as me. And uh, well, if you want to have a bit of fun, if you're still awake, uh, there's people in my Discord in an after party in a voice chat channel. Um, if you're if you're looking for uh, someone to chat to, exclamation mark Discord if you're not in it there for the link. Um, Thank you, um, Robin Hook there, uh, Craig, hey, Craig is still with us, good man, um, Retro on Limb, Tall Paul, Demanta, uh, Matt Myers, of course, TP, <laughs> um, yeah, come join, in the, come join everyone in the after party there, the real OD as well, nice to know you're still here, I'm sorry for my little wobble there, guys, um, I'm surprised the, um, the migraine didn't come through. Weirdly, I feel a bit of pressure in my head. A bit of throbbing, but it's not uncomfortable. -ish, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. Thank you for bearing with me there, guys. Thank you, Arnie. And thank you, Mike ZT, as well. Very kind of you guys to say so. Cheers, guys. All right, um, I'm going to have to finish. So uh, you, you all take care. Have a great weekend. And I will see you all again very soon. I don't know if I'll have a, a video ready for Monday. But uh, fingers crossed, next week's Amstream should be something quite special. So, uh, cheers guys, take care, good night, and I'll see you all soon. Good night, goodbye, bye.